All right, hello everyone, and be surprised to all of you. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I was making some tea because, as you know, when I start, there's nobody even to grab me some water. Uh, today, our topic is about what the Muslims call a miracle number 19. Now, before I made the videos about it, but if you notice yesterday, when we have, uh, or the day before, when we had our caller, the Muslim Abdul, we keep like blah, 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 he didn't want to stop talking. He keep talking about miracle number 19. And the Muslims are obsessed with what they call miracle number 19. Now, you know, when people, they have desperate time, they take desperate measure. When you have a bankruptcy, every penny count. You see, when you are rich, you spend, you buy expensive car, expensive phone, because you have money, too much money. But when you go bankrupt, you start looking for pennies. And this is exactly what is happening to Islam. This is a cult who is suffering or it is suffering from bankruptcy and they are looking for pennies. Uh, I wish I can play the Muslim videos about this because, you know, when we do play them, you know, they flag our videos claiming or copyright, etc. Because that will make it even more funny, you know. Uh, however, we have tons of Muslim websites speaking the same thing. Like, yes, we will not hear them saying it. You can go and watch. Actually, I posted a link underneath for Shabir Ali himself speaking about this false miracle. And any Muslim would like to call me, call me and let us laugh together about the miracle of number 19. Uh, if you remember this uh, caller who called us, he keep talking about the miracle number 19 and he mentioned this chapter for us. Let us uh, show you. This is a chapter 74 and he was mentioning verse number 30 and 31. Same as, you know, they are copy paste. I mean, all of them, they are not bringing something new. One day, one of them, he made the claim and the Muslims killed him for the, making that claim. His name is Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa was slaughtered in his house in Arizona because of the miracle number 19. You can go right now and search and you will find that this guy was killed by the Muslims for reclaiming that miracle. But why they killed him exactly? Because this guy, in order to make his fabrication work, he had to delete verses from the Quran in order to make the calculation of number 19 work if you remember once i have a debate uh, if we can call it a debate i call it spanking with the with the turkish guy um i forgot his name in abn the guy who ran in the middle of the debate uh he is one of the followers of rashad khalifa now it doesn't matter really uh, Rashad Khalifa taking verse from the Quran not taking verse from the Quran that will not change anything because his calculation is wrong anyway but even the Muslims they killed him because he had to delete verses from the Quran in order to make it work as you see he is he is uh, uh, he was uh, supposedly uh, he have a group of people who follow him right now as we speak so he created his own sect <laughs> which is funny and this sect have a lot of funny interpretation for the Quran however we are here to get whoever it doesn't matter the one who is dead the one who is alive the one who will die we are here to get them busted now my Skype is open who is the one when I call me but listen carefully if you call me don't do it the same as this stupid Indian guy who called me two days ago who keep talking will not let me talk I will give you your time to talk but you let me talk too who is the Muslim is willing to give us a call and prove us wrong? Who is the Muslim is willing to give us a call and show us that the miracle of number 19 is exist? It's not a hocus, it's not a stupid thing. My Skype is open. Who want to do that? Do we have anyone? Feel free. If you are a Muslim and you are listening, feel free anytime to give me a call. Now, let us go and see what this miracle number 19 is about. What those Muslims are talking about. We got one. 
who is the Muslim wanna call me? Please call me if you are uh, if you are listening. Give me a call immediately. Yeah, I will be happy to talk to you and you show me how this is can be happening. I'm waiting for you. Uh, Dawa is the same kid who keep talking, you know, blah 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 blah. This guy he don't let me talk. You remember him? This is the same potato, uh, you know, who keep talking forever, but he say nothing. The same guy, I showed him, I, 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 I recite for him Quran. He did not accept the Quran because he said this is a false Quran. But I was reading Quran. You remember? This is the same kid. This is an idiot. This is not a. This is not a man. I need a man to call me, not a kid. This guy, he will call me, and he will never let me talk. And he is stupid at the point. When I said to him, I will recite for you Quran I made. And I recited the Quran for him. He said, this is not accepted because it's not 19, number 19. But this chippet, I was reading for him Quran. Because he didn't speak Arabic. So he thought, <laughs> Are you, aren't you the same kid, Dawa? Aren't you the same kid? You are the same kid, aren't you? I mean, I have time for, I have no time for, uh, you know, with my respect to ladies, you are the same as a woman who is delivering baby in the in the delivery room, giving birth. And because of pain, she keep talking. She don't know what she is saying. So I, you know, I have no problem if you call me and you talk to me, but you promise you listen to me and I listen to you. You don't keep talking like crazy. What do you say? Do you accept? Do you accept? Let me see where is your name. <clears throat> because you will see, he will call me and he will never let me talk. This guy, he is reading uh, an article, I think. But I will give him a chance. Maybe he grew up since two days ago. You never know. Let me see where is his name. I don't see his name. Well, here we go. <clears throat> Answer that one. I'm calling you. Hello? And no, let's start the debate, right? Yeah, but don't talk over me. Let us so people they can hear you and they can hear me. Do you promise that? Let's make the rules, right? No, no, no. Okay, so you, there's a do you promise? You see, don't start, don't start. Hold on. Do okay. you promise that you right. okay? Let us yeah. do this. Is it okay for you if you talk to for two minutes and I talk for two minutes? Two minutes, two less. Five minutes at least. No, no, Three two, no. We don't want to. We, we don't want to sleep. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, it's, okay. it's equal, right? Equal, right? I mean, you, you speak two minutes. I two minutes only. What do you think? Okay, two minutes. Hmm. You make the point. I make my point, and where there is a rebuttal. Okay, so right. go for it now. So, okay, yeah. it's you are the one who is scoring. So, and you so want to tell us about okay, miracle so number nineteen? Go ahead. I'm listening. Thing. I'm listening. Okay, so the topic of this discussion is. Hmm. What is the truth, Islam or Christianity? No, no, we're going to talk about number 19 for now because yesterday you were flooding my head about number 19. Let's talk this about just 19. Truth, man. We just speak about what's the truth, the basis of every discussion. No problem, but is you, said, which you, faith is you the said you want to talk about 19. Might, Aren't 19, you? Is just, 19 is just evidence. We're yeah, 19 so start with 19. No problem. Everything. Start with 19. Let's finish 19. Start with 19. Go ahead. Okay. I'm listening. Okay. Hmm. That's my evidence, right? 19. Let's, mm -hmm. let's start with 19 first, right? All right. Math or lies, okay? What? If you look at the numerical miracles of the Quran, mm -hmm. like the Bismillah miracle, mm -hmm. it has 19 letters. The mm -hmm. numerical value is 786. Okay. You can check the Amjad values, right, on the table. All right. And it has four words. Okay. These are dividing by 19. Mm -hmm. So math is never proven wrong unless you pr produce better scripture than it, right? So these four words, Allah is a challenge in the Quran. Allah says, if you doubt this scripture, then bring one chapter like it, right? 
we cannot go further in this challenge if nobody can even bring one verse like it. So the first verse, mm-hmm. Bismillah Rahman Rahim, is full is full of numerical miracles. Mm-hmm. So my challenge is, which Allah has challenged you, anyone who is listening this, just bring one verse like the Quran, like 19. And I will prove how 19 exists mm-hmm. in Bismillah and nobody on man can, can prove it. Even the technology is not failing. Even Excel is failing. Okay. So as we so the closest example was Bismillah, the evil, the scorcher. But that only equals to nineteen six times. While Bismillah Rahman Rahim, which was revealed fourteen hundred years ago, that has nineteen patterns of ten times. Mm. This beats the latest technology which we have today. So my challenge with every anyone who's listening, that Allah has challenged you in the Quran. If you doubt this book, then just bring one verse, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Okay, done. Right? Okay. Yeah. I think your two minutes is over. All right. Now, I, I will not yeah, take Yeah, yeah, make minutes. a point, yeah. I will not take two minutes. I will take five seconds. I want you to count for me the letters of number 19 or the 19 Hello? letters. Hello? Do you hear me? Hello? What happened? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Hello? Guys, am I heard, guys? Why yeah, bro. Me? yeah, I'm here. Do you hear me or not? Let me call him back. Oh. Guys, he will be spanked as never before. Okay, do you, yeah. do you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm not going to... Did you hear my minutes. point, though? Yeah, yeah, I heard, I heard. I want to give you my time, okay? The two minutes of mine, I will give it to you. I want you to count for me the 19 letters in Hello? this... Mil- What's wrong with this guy? Do you hear me or not? Hello? Hold on, hold on. Let me check the audio. Don't call me. Wait, let me check the audio first. Why this guy, he can't hear me? Wait, Abdul, let us see why he cannot hear me. It's the same, nothing changed. I mean, why he cannot? Hello? Hello? Okay, I don't know what's happening with your Skype. Everybody hear me fine, except you. Hello? Hmm. It's a, I think, guys we, guys, we have a genie today. Because there's no way everybody can hear me, but he cannot. Hello? Hello? No voice. Hello? Hello, hello. Hello, Beirut, min fadlak ya inayi. Ta-da-da-da-da-dam. Atini, Beirut, nakhlak al khat shway. Hello, hello. Hello, Beirut, min fadlak ya inayi. Hello? 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 It's me you are looking for. Edawa, do you hear me or not? <clears throat> Hello? Do you hear me or not? Hey? Are you there? Okay, guys. Can somebody give me a call just to try? Maybe he is, maybe he is not lying. Can somebody call just to check if he is the only one who cannot hear me? Yeah, somebody call me, please, just to try Skype, because he might be not lying. You never know. It's uh, sometimes technical issues might happen. Can somebody call me? No, I want to try Skype, not just hear, hear me here in uh, Google. Somebody call me in Skype. He is calling again. Do you hear me now? Hello. I mean, it doesn't make sense. He was hearing me, so nothing changed. Why he did not hear me now? Let me mute the phone, microphone. Any mute. Do you hear me? Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I do. What about you? Do you hear me? Hello? Do you hear me from your side? Hello, can you hear me? 
Sorry, I can hear you. I think something's wrong with your mic. Okay, so, let me restart my Skype. Uh, okay, hold on. That's mean he is not lying, the guy. Hold on. Let me let me restart my Skype. Quit Skype. And let's see what's happening. Yeah, this is why I ask somebody to call because at least we can find out if it is from his side or our side. <clears throat> This. Okay, do you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Do you hear me or no? Hello? Okay, still not working, let us see. Hmm. Okay, let's try a different microphone. Let's try a different microphone here, which is this one. Hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. I will try to use different microphone. Okay, do you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. All right, good. Guys, am I heard from okay. your side? Am I heard from your side? Did you hear my point? Just wait. We want to be sure everybody can hear us. Okay. Am I heard? Am I heard from your side, guys? All right, wonderful. Yeah, I heard your point. So my question for you: You said that in chapter uh, first first verse and first chapter. If we count the letters, uh, they are going to be number 19. Can you calculate it for them, for me? And I'm listening. I will give you my time. Go ahead. Count for me the letters. Okay. So which which words, the Bismillah Rahman Rahim words? Like yes. the main words is? Yes. Okay. So, hmm. okay, good. So whenever I make this point, I make it relative to the challenge of Allah. Okay. Hmm. So I'll count the first words. Because because there are 100 chapters mm -hmm. in 113 chapter this verse bismillah rahman rahim comes right now to count this i'll simply show a demonstration by voice so mm -hmm. you can just bismillah 19 miracle mm -hmm. so bismillah has 19 letters and the numerical value which is the amjad values when we calculate like ba seen meme it equals to 102. No, I, lift, I gave you my time, but you are not answering my question. I said, calculate, You're saying, calculate, a, calculate the number 19. Yes, I am. Is, I'm, okay. I'm telling the audience the basis for, right? No, oh, so wow. when we add the Amjad values, mm -hmm. it equals 786, okay? Mm -hmm. And the total words are four words. Mm -hmm. And there are 19 letters. Now put four, 19, 70, 786 and divided by 19 this it comes full us no when we do this god question. gracious merciful my friend 66. my friend i gave you time my time you are not answering well, what's your I, I, you said, I said show me the 19 letters in the first chapter the first verse in the quran show me the 19 okay, nine, okay 19 show you the 19 letters mm. all right i'll show you the letters mm -hmm. 19 letters are mm. Ba seen meme alif lam lam he alif lam re he meme noon alif lam re he ya meme. Okay. These are the 19 letters, right? Okay, you mi you missed two letters. Which ones? The one I here, bism. There's nothing in the Quran, it's called bism. It is b -ism. Okay, now, okay, who makes okay, who makes what is right and wrong in Arabic? Allah. Or the humans right. give me okay allah allah okay. allah he speaks perfect okay arabic. if allah makes it 19 oh. cracks the arabic right so all right 19... let, okay hold on hold on hold on you no, see we agree that me and you will talk right okay hold on hold on hold on hold on this you, i live you, there you see why why you did not count for me this letter and this letter here in the rahman ar rahman ar rahman why you did not count ar rahman Do you letters. see it? it's in front of you it's in the screen ar rahman there's a letter there is there's alif why you did not count it Yes, Al Rahman is. Yeah. How, Alif, how, Ape, how, how many? How many letters Al Rahman is? Six, six letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Two, three, Yo, four, two minutes, five, right? six, seven. I don't see six. Okay. Where is the six? There is Take seven. Point. There is seven letters in Rahman. There is seven letters. Don't you see the letter A? Don't you see this letter here in the top of the word? I'm showing you the screen. You see, this is your Make Quran. This is your Quran written by you Muslims. In the top Make of the screen, there is an alif. Do you see the alif? Do you see the alif? Let me let me point my my arrow so you can see it. All right, hold on. Let me give you an arrow. Do you see this letter here? There's an alif. Why you did not count it? Oh, sorry, sorry guys, the screen is not showing. All right, here we go. Do you see this alif in the top of the word Ar Rahman? You said Ar Rahman is six letters. That's not true. There is an alif here. It's showing in the front of you in the screen. Why you did not count it? Okay, you okay? Are you two minutes done? I'm asking you, you talk, talk. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Let me finish two minutes without an introduction, right? Because these are the manners of the discussion. When someone's making his point, my friend, you let him finish. It's my two minutes, and I'm asking you now. Okay, go ahead. Just tell me why you did not count the alif. Why you did not yeah. count it? People will leak on the comment sections that I'm speaking over you. No That's problem. Nonsense, right? Go ahead, so go ahead, go ahead. Just stop crying. Go wait, ahead. wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. Mm. Listening, speaking is different, right? Mm. So, Rahman, you're saying there's seven letters. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. If we go on Google, right? Mm -hmm. There, there's a modern Arabic and there's a classic. There's a modern Arabic and mm -hmm. there was an there's an another type of Arabic, right? Mm -hmm. The Arabic that you go on Google and uh -huh. you see the Arabic there. Mm -hmm. That's what is edited by Allah because 19, the Arabic which we read on Google, like everybody can Google it, mm -hmm. they will find six letters. Alif. Where, Alif, we, where we can find that? Where we can find? Show, show me. These are the six letters. If we go where, on Google, where where where? Where? Okay, okay. Just Google and just Google Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Yeah. Rahman has six letters, right? Bis has three letters. So Allah fixes this because it's Allah fixes. This, what do you mean He fixes? This, it's there. It's in front Allah, of you. It's in front of you. There's, a, there's an alif in the front of you. There's an alif. Why Allah making seven? You said it is six. Speech. Are you going against your own word now, right? <laughs> you said it's two minutes. You finish your two minute. This is. Let me let me let me start the counter. Hold on. Let me let me show everybody that your minute is finished. L listen, yeah. listen, listen. Here we go. Let me start the two the the, the, the minute counter. Here we go. Okay. Now listen. I, I will give you two extra minutes. I will give you two extra minutes from me as a gift. Now tell me, is the is the alif is the alif appearing there? Is the alif appearing there? Then make your two minutes. Speak up, man. It's in the front of like you. If you interject. It's in the front of no. you. Answer is the is the alif appearing there in the Quran? It's appearing. So what do you mean Allah fix it? It is there. Okay. Bismillah Rahman Rahim has a there's another type of Bismillah Rahman Rahim which has a 19 vehicle and which is is Rahman has six six letters. Where That's are they? The show alif. me, show me, count them for me. There is an alif. Don't you see it? Are you blind? Alif, listen, right? Are you deaf then? Listen. Alif Lam Re Ha Mi No. It's the six letters. Alif, Alif, Lam, Re, Ha, Mim, Noon. There's six letters. Do you see it? I'm showing it to you. There's an Alif in the screen in front of me. What I would do with it? I would delete it? I'm not looking at your screen. We're just speaking here. We, we're just using no, our... No, look at the screen. There's an Alif in the Quran. The Quran is written today. The Quran the Muslims have today. It says, Ar-Rahman. There's an Alif. It's in the front of me. What I would do with it? Okay. In what value is the Alif? In what value is it? What do you mean a value? It's... It is Alif. You do... Why you don't count the Alif? There's a letter and there is missing. Why you did not count it? You, you are saying to me that this sentence have 19 letters. It is a lie. There is a front of me. There's a letter. It's called Aleph. It's in the front of me. A. Why you did not count it? It counted. Listen, listen. Listen if you can hear, right? <laughs> Aleph, Lam, mm -hmm. Re, He, Mim, Noon. These are the six letters. Where is the, where is the Aleph? After, after Mim, after Mim, where is the Aleph? Do you see it? To which Mim? Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahman, you are the one who said this is six letters, correct? Six letters, yes, okay, correct. Let, let me count me and you together. Watch with me in the screen, please. Okay, count. Okay, this is the Alif. first letter, Alif. Listen, it's Alif. This is the second letter, Al, Al. Hold on. This equals to six count, letters. Count with me, count with me, count with me. This is the second letter, this is Ra. This you is Ha. This is Alif. Ma. This is, this is Alif. This is Noon. 
How many Alif. letters is the total? There's Alif, Lam, Re, Ha, Mim, Noon, six letters. There is Alif in the front of me. I see it in the front of me in the screen. What I will do with it? Are you crazy or what? Do you see it? Yes, if you... Okay, Alif, I, want you I want you to do this. I want you to do this. What about you open six you, letters? I want you to I want you I want you I want you to copy I want you to copy a word al Rahman picture. Listen, listen, listen. I want you to give me a Rahman picture from your screen and snapshot and give it to me. I will play it for everybody in the screen so everybody will see what you are reading. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that, please? Can you can you do that? By showing this numerical miracle, can you do that? Can you do that? Don't jump. You are a liar. It's, it is not six letters, and not only this. What about the letter in BSM? Let me ask you this the, the word BSM does it have a or not? Okay, producer words. You won't listen. Producer don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I produced a verse for you yesterday. You said you don't like it, but it was Quran. You said this is not Quran. You said you don't accept it. I gave you Quran. You did not accept it. You are stupid. Now, don't change the topic. Where is the nine? Where is the nineteen letters? You are a liar, the same as all the Abdul. Letters. There's six letters. If you, Why do you are not counting a Rahman Alif. It's in the front of me. Count it for me. Are, Rahman, are you blind? Are you blind? Are you blind? Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. I want you to look at the screen and tell me what is this in the screen. Can you do that? Arabic. Can you do that? Can you do that, Abdul? Can you can you do the following? Can you look with me in the screen, please? Please, we don't want a screen. And tell me what yes. is that here? What is that letter here? Can you read it for me? Two, where are the two minutes? Go take the I will give you five minutes. Can you read for me that letter? A fallacy. That's what Jesus can you for? give me. Can you give me the, the the letter there? Can you can you can you read it for me? Do you know no, even no, no. Arabic? Do you know even Arabic, you idiot? You don't know even Arabic for you. That's why you so why you are not reading the letter for me. Jesus was cursed for you now. <laughs> Je Jesus, he made fun of your prophet. He said, don't follow false prophet who asked for wages like your prophet who said, don't come to my clinic unless you pay me. Don't change the topic, Abdul. You are a follower of a child molester and you are getting busted. This is why you want to change the topic. Answer me. Why you are not reading this letter? This letter is what in the Quran? Is that an extra letter? Did, did, your, Allah, your mom, did Allah right? make a mistake, Abdul? Did Allah make a mistake by adding this letter? Did he add a letter by mistake? I, two minutes, right? You okay, said two okay minutes. read it. Read it for me. Read it. Words, yeah? No, probably 10 minutes. Read it for me. Okay. Hmm. Okay, read it, right? Let me finish. I don't interject because if you interject, this proves Jesus is cursed for you, right? Okay. Abdul, don't, so, don't make me, don't, don't make me insult your prophet. Don't read it. Okay. You can't because nothing is cursed in Islam. No, hey, your I'm prophet is cursed. The Quran says if Muhammad invented Quran, Allah will cut his artery. And then the hadith says Muhammad, he cut his altar. Do you want to show you? Don't change the topic. Now answer. Read for me, Abdul, son of Muta. Read for me that letter. What is that letter in the screen? What is that? What is that letter in that screen? Read. I'm not reading your screen, yeah? Why you don't okay. why you don't want to read in the screen? I want you to read in the screen. Uh, this is your Islamic I, website. I, this is the Dean Show website. This is the letter there. It's an is that an alif or not? On my phone, yeah. So so I can read your screen. So you can we go you can. I don't care. I don't care. Then you switch to computer and call me. This is not an excuse. We are here to get your prophet busted. His ass is going to get red today. Not your ass. You don't have an ass. Your prophet have an ass. And he's my target. Read for me the, the, the letter there. Is that an extra letter or this is a real letter? Point, yeah. You are interjecting me because Jesus said read, was read, coward, coward. Why you don't want to read then? Don't give me an excuse that you are using the phone. This is not an excuse. You are calling me to debate me or to say to me I'm using the phone. You, I can have you YouTube right? two minutes. Why you minutes? cannot? No problem. Here we go. I will go. I will give you a snapshot. Here we go. Hold on, Abdul, coward, potato. Let me get you busted. This letter. I will give you a snapshot in your Skype. Here we go. Open it in your Skype. Potato, uh, listen, listen, no, no, you cannot escape. Blah, 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 blah. You know, you can eat curry as much you want. I love curry. I love Indian people, but you are a potato. Read for me. Uh, Here we go. I'm sending you, I'm sending you the picture. Here we go. It's in your, it's in your Skype. Point. Guys, everybody, everybody look with me. Is that, is that in his Skype? Is that in his Skype? Yes, it is. I just okay. gave it to you. Okay. Read it. Thank you a lot. Finally, you hmm. showed me something, right? All right. What is that oh. letter there? What is that letter there? If someone has a sane mind, if someone is sane, he can count that Alif, Lam, Re, Ha, Mim, Noon. These are six letters if you know how to count, right? We did count These already. You did not count. Me... You did not count Let's... the one I have the arrow in it. Why is, 
What is that one? You see the arrow? What are you afraid of? Do you see the arrow or not? What is that letter there? Read it for me. Two minutes, you said. It's now 40 seconds. Don't waste my time. Give me what is that arrow? Yes, exactly. You asked me a question. Let me answer you, right? Eh? Uh-huh. Man, Alif, Lam, Re, Hamim, Noon, Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman. Man, yeah. So? Needed. That's common sense. There's nothing else needed. So what is that there? This has six letters. Now, what is that there? <laughs> Abdul, what's wrong with you? You see, give me two minutes, give me two minutes, but you will not read. What is th this? My question is very simple. That where I'm pointing the arrow. Do you see the arrow? What is that letter there? Can you read for me that letter? Nobody can ever produce something like this. Don't Abdul, 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 Abdul. Don't change the topic. Produce, 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 produce. Now we produce Pepsi Cola. You drink it. We produce cars. We can. We drink it. And your God cannot produce anything. Now tell me what is that letter? Don't change the topic. I will let you make your two points. What is that letter? No, I don't want you to make tons of points. Tell me that letter there is that. What? What is that letter? Read it for me. Two points. What is that letter? Are you make your next point right? Are you make thinking? The one. Are you thinking? What is that letter? Make your two minutes point. What yes, is speak. that letter? I don't want two minutes. I want you to tell me what is that letter in the screen. Okay, without inter without interjecting me with the manners of a discussion. Tell me what is that letter in the screen? Prove that Jesus was a. What is for that you? letter in the screen, you idiot? Saying alif lam alif lam re ha mim nun. That letter Allah edits. He makes nineteen. The what letter Allah added? I'm asking you the letter in the screen. What is that? Read it for me. What is it's that? A, what, a, what is that letter. in the screen? What is that letter in the screen? Okay, wait. You put this again. I'll show you one more. <laughs> this minute, okay? One second. <laughs> I'll show you one more. And this does not have any letter like that. Abdul, so it's in the front of me. Everybody see it. I made a copy from the Quran in the front of you. You are a liar. You are a donkey. Here we go. This is the official Islamic oh. website. What do you mean there's no letter like that? I am not fabricating. Here we go. This is the letter in the front of everybody. People are laughing at you. People are dying from laughing. Do you see it? What do you mean there's no such a letter like that? Accurate. Then what a man does with 19? Eh? What do you mean there's no such a letter like that? You donkey. It's in the front of you. There's there are two classicals, right? I'll don't tell me classical. More. This is the Quran. The Quran. I don't care how people write it. The Quran in the front of you. There's a letter there. What we would do with it? We would throw it in the garbage? Yes. Guys, this yes, guy, he want to throw the Quran in the garbage. He said, yes, we throw what the Quran is in the garbage. Thank you. If Allah, he wrote it this way, it's mean Allah is wrong. The one who made the miracle number 19 is right. Allah wrong. Why Allah added the letter there? But you Muslim don't want it. Okay, where's this letter here? This is that, this which I've shown you is the <laughs> quick Arabic, which Allah himself edited. Read that now. Look at that. Self -edited. <laughs> it's in the Quran in front of us. Do you see the letter Alif? That's the correct editation of the do you, see the, do you do see the word Aleph? Do you see it or you don't? Editation, eh? What so editation? What, what editation, Abdul? What editation? Are you stupid or what? It's in the front of you. I, I, who is the one who add the letter Aleph there? You or me or Allah? Once again, this makes no sense at all. There are two types, right? I've two shown type you of what? Are you to What's count in the verse in the front of me, you idiot? This is the verse in the front of us. Don't tell me about type. What type? Do you have type C and charger? Are you talking right. about what type? We are talking about the sure. verse in the front of us. You said you want to count this verse for us. And the verse in the front of us have letter for B BSM, have letter for Abdul, 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 Abdul. Abdul. You've been cooked and you've been served and everybody is laughing at you. You are stupid like your prophet. Here, BSM, BSM here, there's an Aleph, you idiot. The Muslim scholar, they say, they took it off because it's easier to read because they repeat it always. Here, there's a letter, Ar-Rahman, you idiot. And you Muslims are donkeys. And let me show you more letters. Do you see Ar-Rahman here? Ar-Rahman, here there's two raw. There's two raw, not only one. This is why we have Shadda. Shut up, you idiot, stupid donkey, son of Muta. You don't want to read, right? I gave you, I gave you the picture, you don't want to read it. I yeah, gave you the picture. Sure. You don't want to read it, right? Six letters. Abdul, Abdul. Six letters. Abdul, Abdul. Why you don't want? Why you don't want to read what I gave you? What, what does Alif mean? What Alif is the What is the problem ah, with you? Why you don't want to? Why, why you don't want to read it? Why you don't want to read it? Huh? to your name. Answer me. Would you add an extra e to your name? Abdul, Abdul. What the the one you gave me? The one you gave me? The one you gave me? Abdul. This is not an accurate writing. You idiot, stupid. 
here. The Would Quran you, in the front of you. The Quran in the front of you. Abdul, Abdul, you are a donkey like your prophet. The prophet who said when you hear a donkey, that's mean he saw an angel, but yet he could not recognize the angel from, from, from a shaitan, which means donkey is more qualified than your prophet. And this you Muslims is the same case. R look with me. What you give me here? Is that the Quran? Okay, listen, listen, listen. I want you, I want you to tell me. Is this website in the front of us is approved by you? So should truth that come or not? You will never be able to then if fear we, the fire of hell. Abdul, son of Muta. If we go right now to the Quran, which you Muslims have in the Islamic government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, do you accept that? Rahman Rahim. Do you accept you, that? Do you accept oh, that? Do you accept do you accept that, Abdul? Abdul, Abdul. Because no, we need to make an agreement, Abdul, son of Muta. I will. I made you. I made you a joke already. You said already we throw it in the garbage. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. Listen carefully. Here we go. Yeah. This is this is the official government website of the King of Jordan. Answer me. Is this Quran here? Is it corrupt or not? Yes or no? you. Would you add an extra you to the list? Is that Quran accepted or not? Would you add an extra? Do you see it or not? Do you see it or not? So simply guys get lost get lost. You are just a kid. You are just common a kid. Just just get lost get lost My name is common sense get lost no, 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 Just get lost. I'm not going to waste my time The word in the front of us is so clear Secondly secondly get lost you donkey. I have no time for kids I have no time for kids You just say it and he admitted that the Quran is garbage Garbage. I mean, how how a Muslim he would say that Quran is garbage, and he claimed to be a Muslim. We told him what we would do with this word now in the Quran. We would do it. With, he said, "You throw it in the garbage." He said, "Yes." And let me show you how stupid those Abdul. Do you see how the word bism here? Do you see it? Let me show you the opinion of the Muslim scholars. Question. Why the Aleph is disappear from the word Bismillah, the Aleph? The answer of the scholar, fatwa number 5507. Listen, donkey, when you speak, we are scholars. We are not donkey like you. You are just a kid, copy-paste. You don't even speak Arabic. Alhamdulillah, he was salatu was salami ala Rasulullah. They have to salute Muhammad and kiss his shoes and his ass before they start talking. The Khurtubi, he said in his interpretation, that of the wisdom of deleting the Aleph from the word Bism. You see, guys, they deleted the Aleph. Who is the one who deleted? It is the Muslims. Why? It says, Bismillah, it's written without the Aleph because we did not want to use it. Hmm? Because we use it a lot, which means because it's it's making the reading the recitation is harder. Bism, bism. So what they do for the music purpose, they say bism. So the correct way it is bism, and then he says, If we go in the Quran right now, we will find this. You see, the first Muhammad verse he was receiving from his God is not Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You idiot. Is Iqra Bismi Rabbika? Let us see what that means and how that will come. Is it with Aleph or without Aleph? We will see it is with Aleph. So the Muslims they did delete words, delete letters from that calculation. Read with me carefully. Oh, we need to switch to Arabic. <clears throat> Let us zoom out. All right. And we will go. I will go to the end of the Quran because this is in the end of the Quran, actually. You know, chapter 96, verse number one. This is the first verse Muhammad received. What we will read here, guys. Do you see the word bism with alif? Do you see the alif? The Muslims they changed the writing of the Quran and they deleted this letter in the first chapter. And the scholar in the website we showed you. He's answering why this letter is deleted. He said, because of the many repeating, because Muslim, they have to start every prayer with BSM. Allah, he gave Muhammad the Quran with Aleph. 
Muslims, they took it off. Why? Because they are corrupting the Quran. And the scholar, he says that this is what happened. Because it is repeated too much. It is deleted. So here we have a letter, which is A, is taken from the word Bism. I wish I can play for you the video of uh, what is named Nu'man Khan. Nu'man Khan, as an example, when he speak about the word Ar-Rahman, let me show you how many letters are missing from the calculation of Muslims, not only BSM, not only Ar-Rahman, as we showed you here in this letter. No, not only that. You see, in Arabic, we have something is called Shadda. Shadda, who of you took my Arabic class? Shadda, it is a letter repeated twice. If you watch Nu'man Khan, and you can go right now, and he is showing you the amazing language of the Quran, and you will find how many times this guy, in his video, in his graphic, he mentioned to you that Ar-Rahman, A-L, Ra, Ra. Why it is Ra, Ra? Because here there's something, it's called Shadda. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. Do you see here in the top of the letter? This thing in Arabic, we call it Shadda. Let me write it here bigger so you can see what is that. When you see something like this in the top of a letter in Arabic, it means this letter is double. It is double. It's not one. Which means here the letter Ra, this one, I will make it in red. It is double. Same here in the letter of L. La, here there's a shadda that is double. So here, let us let us count just the shadda only. What we'll do? That will add two letters here or extra letter here. That will make it two letters here, and that will make it two letters here because the shadda is exist in three locations in the sentence. Here we add the letter alif, and here the letter alif is already appear. Ar-Rahman, it's in front of us. I do not need to add it. It's here. You see it? It's just written in a graphical decoration way. But the word Rahman is there. And the Quran used the word B-ism with the letter A all over, as we showed you. Was Allah wrong when he wrote the word B-ism in different place? With Alif? The fact Allah never wrote any of this. All of us, we knew that the Muslims wrote. Muhammad, he never received any written thing. So look how many mistakes in the false calculation the Muslims, they have in purpose. Don't tell me that the Muslims who made, who speak Arabic, do not know those things which I just said. Don't tell me he do not know that Shadda repeat the letter twice. Don't tell me that he do not know that the letter here is Ar-Rahman. You cannot delete it and you cannot get rid of it. You cannot tell me that you do not know here there is letter Aleph. And you do not know that this letter here repeat itself twice because of the Shadda. Same as here. Same as here. So what we find here, let us count how many letters the Muslim did not count in their false calculation. Aleph is letter one. Al-Rahman is the, the law repeated twice. They count only once. That's mean another letter. Al-Rahman again, sorry, Allah here, al twice one letter is missing here al-rahman twice which means the letter ra is missing from the counting that's one then here the alif is not counted and here al-rahman again one letter is not counted so what the muslims did instead of coming with the false fiction calculation of number 19 if they count with honesty this is what will happen we will find that 19 plus 5. Sorry, not plus, this is not a plus. Plus 5. That will make it 14 letters. And that will destroy all their stupid false miracle. Sorry, uh, 24. 24. So anyway, this is how stupid the Muslims when they come with this miracle. It's very easy to destroy because all the rest of the calculation is based on this. All what they have is based on this. And it's gone. It's a fiction. It's a lie. 
it's a shish kebab and this is why Christian Prince nobody dared to debate him I challenged this coward Shabir Ali who spoke in his TV program about the miracle of 19 to make a video at least and count for us the the, the 57 uh, like uh, the, the, the verse we spoke about the 57 he said it's 57 words I challenge him to do the same as I do nobody can do that and they will never do that because they knew that they are a bunch of donkeys what happened you know and the funny guys here the word ar-Rahman it shows already the letter the a already ar-Rahman it's here it's in the front of you why you don't want to count it this guy he said it's a garbage he said Allah fix it what Allah fix it <laughs> this is the Quran this is the Quran which you Muslims have printed in your house any Muslim is watching me right now I challenge you to prove to me that I am lying and this Aleph is not exist you see this website I'm using do you know this website is of who this is the website owned by the Dean show what about we go to the official government website of the King of Jordan do we have this a here yes we have it read with me let me let me point the the, the arrow in it hmm? do you see it do you see it I'm talking to the Abdul do you see it Abdul why well, you Muslims are lying do you see that do you see the Aleph this is the Aleph do you see it <laughs> and the funny he was saying to me ar rahman ar rahman yeah ar rahman so where is the a ah is coming from you just said ar rahman you just said the alif yourself when you pronounce it you donkey did you ask yourself how i am saying ar rahman but it is written according to you if you don't want to calculate ar rahman with the alif then it have to be ar rahman not ar rahman because then the alif is gone a hey, Rahman Rahman do you see it <laughs> what if we go what if we go to the official government of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia maybe those guys are a bunch of donkeys too I mean in the Islamic kingdoms donkeys are all over you never know I mean maybe 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 it was our lucky day that all of them they are getting it wrong was Allah wrong when he said bism it is bism there's no such a thing as called bism they cut the letter a because they want to make it easier to pronounce and this is what the scholars in their Muslim fatwa website saying because we repeat it a lot so we make it lighter for you so they just admitted that they are deleting Quran because the Muslim they say not even one letter is deleted but Allah never gave Muhammad Bism. Allah gave Muhammad Bism. And this is supposedly the first verse Muhammad he received from his God. Not Al Fatiha. This is the first verse Muhammad he gave him. Chapter 96, verse number 1. Iqra bismi rabbika ladi khalaq. Bismi. We lighted the letter uh, uh, just for the music, but the fact there here be Bism. You see here, here there's a letter A. This is how easy to destroy what they call the miracle of number 19. And if you want to go to the rest, I mean, it's there's no need. All the calculation after that based on this one. All of it. Based in chapter 1, verse number 1. This is how stupid this miracle is. It's false. It's unreal. It's stupid. And nothing truthful about it. If we go right now, and we go to the official Islamic government of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia let us do that I mean maybe maybe those guys are stupid because you know you because you guys do not speak Arabic so I will I will do you know I will do what what uh, what we need to do you know just to help you to see that we are not making things up we're out all right 
All right, I will go to a Muslim official website. Let us see how it is written. I don't want to go. Okay, here we go. This is, I think, Azha. Maybe this is Azhar University. I don't know. No. Holy Quran. I want the Saudi government website. Okay, hold on. Awqaf. If we go in the Quran, where is the... <clears throat> Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Be my witness. Let me zoom in. First of all, let me show you the link. Here we go. This is the address. Ksu.edu.sa Saudi Arabia. This is the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia official government website. And this is the word of Rahman. Do you see it? Abdul's, do you see the word of Rahman? Does it have an alif there? Yes. It has an alif there. And I find it very nice. I wish some of you will copy this uh, part of the video where he said we, what we would do with this letter. We throw it in the garbage. He said, yes, I want you guys to copy it and share it around. This guy, he just admitted that he is he is willing to take letters written in the Quran. It's in front of us. And he is saying he is willing to throw it in the garbage. And he is asking me actually to throw it in the garbage. He just said that. I'm calling for what? We are done. I'm not here to play games. We finish with him. He's just a kid. You know, the reason I called him and the reason I wanted him to call because it is nicer to spank Islam by spanking a liar, life. Better than speaking by yourself. This is al Basmala, the one he is counting for us. Do you see the letter Alif in the Rahman? You see, it's in the green. Bismillah Rahman. Do you see it? How clear I can make it more than this. The coward, the potato, he said it's not exist. He said there is no such a thing. It's in the front of you. Why he can't see it, but we can see it. What is that there? It is a letter. What is that letter there? It is Alif. When he himself, he did read for me, he did read it. He said, Ar-Rahman. Man. You see it? The same numbers, guys, the same numbers, the Muslims, when they calculate, and the same guy who made this false miracle, he calculated them twice. Let me show you. I mean, I, I got them busted. If you have my books, you can see all of those things I'm talking about. If you have my books, you will love more. All right? If we go to Harun Yahya, where is Harun Yahya? Miracle number 19. Hold on. Where is Harun Yahya? Harun Yahya. Hmm. I found his page maybe it was here let me hold on let me find you Harun Yahya website I don't know where I can find it because I remember I opened his website uh, it was Google book I think Google book Let's see what is that. Uh, here we go. This is Harun Yahya. This is the founder of all the lies Muslims they have about Quran and miracle. 
This is the guy you see him in his night club having a bunch of Muslim uh, showing their ass and dancing and showing their boobs for him. He is the one who spread those lies. If you read with me here carefully, you will see he counted Bismillah rahman rahim as the following. Read with me carefully, guys. Read with me carefully. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh. This is supposedly Bismillah Rahman Rahim, right? So this is Bismillah B. Let me use the the arrow. Letter B. This is letter number one. Letter Sa. This is letter number two. But this is not true. Here there's letter Aleph. In the middle between them, it is BSM. BSM. Here we have a letter Aleph. Aleph. And then he continue. He say, letter number three, letter number four, letter number five. But that's false because he, when he said Bismillah, Allah, look what he did. And that will prove again that those Muslims don't even use their brain. If we read here the word EL, EL, you will see that the word EL repeated twice. The letter L is coming twice. Why it's repeated twice? Anybody can tell me? Because there is a Shadda. Or because the letter is repeating twice. The Muslim, they will say because it's repeating twice. There is no Shadda here. Let us go back. Are you sure? <laughs> there is a Shadda. <laughs> there is a Shadda here. What Shadda mean? Shadda is a created by a guy he is not even an Arab what this guy he did instead of writing the letter three time or twice sorry then what we do we add some little symbolic in the top and that will make us instead of repeating the letter, letter we extend it the sound will not change but the writing will be easier so we do not need to write it twice so we extend the sound this is will tell us this is the Shadda I'm talking about let me show you that little thing in the top here, this is we call it Shadda. You see it? What that thing will do will extend the sound because here there's a repeated letter twice. So now here we have L, L, and L. Where, why L additional L? Because now we have the Shadda in the top. And here again we have the letter A. And here again, we have the letter Alif. As we showed you, even Allah in the Quran, in the first chapter, Muhammad, he received from his God, the letter Alif is exist here. And the Muslims are the one who took it off. As we know, Muhammad, he never received written Quran from his God. The Muslim believe that the only one who received written uh, Scriptures, it was Moses. So all the calculation here is a stupid. Now, if we go and do the following, if you go here with me, I can use this uh, the, that those things uh, later. Read with me here carefully. Is a Nasrullah wal Here they calculated. They say this is nineteen, right? But look what they did here. They calculated the Hamza as letter. This is in Arabic. It's called Hamza. Hamza will make the sound like ah uh, ah. Uh. So take in your uh, in your in your mind. That Hamza is, is 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 documented by the Muslims as a letter, as you see, it says the sixth letter. Later we will find they don't count it no more, in order to make it work. 
So when they won, they count it as a letter. When they won, they will not count it. <laughs> I'm really... I, I love, I mean, this, this religion is the most amazing, stupid religion ever. You can imagine. Anyway, I advise you to read my, uh, uh, my, uh, my book so you can love more. You know, I think what those donkeys, they did, they, they, they thought that the one, when they made those claims about miracle number 19, people will not go and check their calculation and they will not check how they calculate. So when they want, they made those numbers fit with them. They calculate whatever they want. They forget whatever they want. Because the purpose is how to make it work. Actually, I'm, I, I was trying to find I find you the this uh, this thing from the website of Harun Yahya, uh, but I could not find it. I need to look more. You know, because in his website, he have more table to show you how he calculated the same thing he ignored first time he calculated second time. As an example, uh, hold on, hold on. I just got something new. Guys, do you see here that they calculated the word? This is, those are words. Ida is a word. Fi is a word. So Ida and Fi is a word. If we go and calculate the chapter, they told us that it has 57 words. The chapter 74 is verse number 31. And we calculate this exactly the same what they did. We will find that this is impossible. There is no such a number. Who is the Muslim want to call and do live calculation for me? We are going to count the words there. Any Abdul? Hmm? Uh, let me do this. <clears throat> it's my favorite. To get them busted. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a verse. Hello. Thomas from GP. How are you? How are you, my friend? Good. Oh, well, since you were discussing this topic, I had a question as well. All right. Yeah, it's just a question. I mean, it's not a debate or something. No if you look at chapter two, verse number 173. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, let me disturb you a little bit. Just a second. Guys, yep. this is the same, just to show you the deception of Muslims, how it works. Uh, uh, let me show you first here. Do you see the verse here? Do you see the verse here, guys? This is the verse they count for us. Do you see it? This is the same verse. It's appearing in the screen. Chapter 110, verse number 1. What is the first letter there? There's Aleph and there is Hamza. You remember we showed you that they count the Hamza as a letter by, by, by itself? Do you remember? Here, the Hamza disappear is not counted as a letter by itself. It's the same verse. 
under here do you notice here they took they, they deleted the letter either Jaa Nasrullah wal Fatah aren't you reading the same verses yes we are reading the same verse so why here there is a Hamza but in their page in their image there is no Hamza see it's quite simple there is a corruption in the vowels no do you, do you see what I'm talking about in order to make the calculation wrong right they have to delete what is here there's a Hamza if I take a snapshot from that one let me take a snapshot and, and place them together next to each other hold on I will take a snapshot Of this thing, and I will open it and put it next to the page we see here in front of us. Okay, here we go. Now we can make it. I don't know why I cannot make it smaller. <laughs> I'm trying to make this thing anyway let, let us let us do it this way so guys do you see here what happened do you see the deception it is I'm trying to put it side by side okay let us let us do this I know that all of you don't speak Arabic but I think it's easy for you to figure out and to see with me what I'm talking about I am going to zoom in with this page so you can see with me and notice with me what happened here, how the deception work. Anyone notice what is the difference between the two words? This is the same verse. This is the same exact verse. What the Muslims did here, they took off this letter. And we showed you in their page they calculated just the just the table before as a letter by itself. <laughs> Why they took it off? You see, and you can tell actually, you can tell that there's somebody did did editing to the image. Do you notice that? If you look how clear here the print is, and how how not clear here, you will notice that somebody did Photoshop. Do you notice with me? This is the correct word for the same exact verse. Why the Muslims do that? Because simply, if they added this letter, which is appeared already in the table in the in, in the in the image before this one, in the figure before this one. Let me show you the figure before this one, in case your memory is weak. Hmm? Where is uh, oh the figure? I think after. Hold on. Yeah, here. Do you see it? Actually, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They are they are showing it as a letter here. They are showing it. Hold on. They are showing it as a but when when they write, they did not write it down. So here in the in the figure they have in for us, it is coming as a letter. Later we will show you that this Hamza is not appearing at all. So what the Muslims do when they want the Hamza is a letter, when they want the Hamza is not a letter, when they want the Ra appear as two letter, your 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 voice is very noisy from your side. There. Fuad, Fuad, I don't know what you have on your side. When they want, they will count it. When they want, they will not count it. And the purpose is how we can make it 19. Uh, let us see here. As an example here, when they wrote this word, was was 
Was tagafarahu? Is it one word? It's not. What we will do with this letter here? This letter. Is it one word? How come? How come when they want, they calculate the word fee as a word, and the and wa is not a word because both of them are tools. Fee mean in, wa mean and. So why when they want, they calculate the fee as a word. When they want, they just attach this and to the word after it and make it both one word. Because it's a, all is based on deception. Because now, if we don't attach it, we have to we have to attach it to somebody, somebody like somewhere. Otherwise, we are going to have a twenty. So, what we will do? See here, fee is coming as two words. Here, I'm trying to find this guy. He used to have more, more, more uh, tables because that will make it easier for us to get them busted. Let me see. Maybe if I scroll down, I can find. No, maybe not in this book. Hold on. Nineteen miracle nineteen. Uh, this is just comments. Hazarat Mehdi. Uh, yeah, this is just garbage. Let me see if I can find uh, those images in Google. Because he used to have them in Google. Here we go. If you look with me here, suddenly the wa is not a word. The wa is not a word. The men is a word. The, 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 the men, men, those are all tools. And then suddenly, those are not words. So when they want, let me go and see if I can find it in the website. Where is that table? All right. Look at this donkey. Anyone notice here with me what happened? Anyone notice? Do you see the word ism? Ism? Do you see how he wrote it himself? He put the word alif there. The, the letter alif. Do you see it? Let me zoom in. <laughs> and even he wrote it for you in, in English. With A in the beginning. Which means uh, I. You know, like for you, you read it as I. Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see this letter here in English I? Why he put it? Why he put ism? This is Aleph because this is Aleph. Ism. He is just putting it to you as we pronounce it. But this is in fact Aleph. So the word ism starts with the Aleph. But yet when they calculate it, they did not put it there. Here the word Rahman, he took the Aleph off. Here he added. <laughs> anyway, this is not the figure I'm looking for. But let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. Uh, this is just, uh, yeah, too bad. I want to find it because that will make it really funny more. I mean, more, more stupid. Hold on, let us see if we can find something. Amazing, stupid religion, desperately looking for a miracle. And you know, 
Allah he made the miracle number 19 but he don't want to tell Muhammad about it I mean this is the most amazing thing too I mean, why Allah don't want to tell Muhammad about it why Muhammad did not say there's a this is speaking about 19 angels not about mathematic numbers uh, I'm trying to find too bad they used used to have it and you know for me when I made my book I have it and from from the uh, hold on you know what I I, I will open uh, the problem when I open Microsoft Word it suck a lot of internet because I can open my book and show it to you from there um, hmm. Let us change the search. Maybe we can come with different thing. No, I'm just still looking. I'm, I'm trying to find the things I'm looking for. But anyway, what we provide already is more than enough to get them busted. Um, All the miracles the Muslims they speak of in the Quran is nothing but a hocus and it is a stupid. This one is in a French. And you know the the funny that the Muslims none of them he want to go and calculate like how many of the Muslims right now he will go and check if the word Ar Rahman written with Ar with, with Aleph or without Aleph go check it out and the word BSM as we showed you is written by Aleph or not as you see this is even the Quran we are not copying from where somewhere else BSM but Sometimes you feel like you are talking to no one. You are talking to yourself. Yes, what? Well. Yes, let's hope you're free now. Yeah, well, your voice was going bad, so that's why I hang up on you. There was right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've heard that myself. Yeah, that's an interesting talk. He actually rejected the Alif and the Rahman. Without the Alif, you can't even pronounce the word. Yeah, you see all the in front of me, I'm showing you in the screen. Yeah, it's showing the 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 uh, Ar Rahman. You know, let me let me show you. All right. When you write the name of Abdul Rahman, do you see Abdul Rahman? This is the name. The yeah. guy. His name is Abdul Rahman. Yeah, th that's how you write it. With right, the big... right away, you will see the Alif. Right away. Yeah. All right. Hey, everybody. This is not a secret. We are not making science here. This is some you know a simple Arabic. You do not need to be a genius, and you will find out that this is how the word is written. Yeah. I challenge anyone, any Muslim, to show me one name of a Rahman written without the Alif. Not even once. That was, even in the Quran, we are showing it to with Alif. But what they did, they made it in a graphical way to make it like decorated way. But all of it, it is with Alif. Because a Rahman simply is written by, with Alif. All right? Yeah. Uh, even if you go and you read it, how the Muslim they write it in English, Al Rahman, Al Rahman. You see the Alif after that. Why? Why? Why you are Muslims putting Alif if there is no Alif? Simply, there is an Alif. Yeah, that's right. You know. So it's not only like, you know, uh, the word Ar Rahman enough to, de to destroy all their calculation. The word Bism is enough to destroy all calculation. Everything they come with. I have a with... question, CP, if you can help me with that. Yeah. It's chapter 2, verse number 173. Inna maharama alaykum. 
the word haram has a lift missing well you know some uh, uh, alaykum. this is hurrima not haram yeah yeah hurrima is different from haram it's coming from the same uh, source but it's like an uh, uh, um, is is different way to say the same word. It's it is it is not wrong. It's not wrong. Yeah, it's fine. That's not a mistake. Yeah, yeah. That's all I was asking. But basically, there's there is a problem with the vowels in the Quran. They do use the vowels to alter the meaning sometimes. Yeah, but uh, you know, uh, for us, we say what uh, when it's wrong, we say it's wrong. There's in Arabic. There's nothing. It's called bism. It is always bism, and this is why in the Quran, if we search right now the word bism, we will find it only appear when the Muslims are doing this recitation for this verse. The reason for that, the Muslim explain in their own website, for it is easier for because we repeat it a lot. All right. Yeah. The if we if we take if we take. Uh, uh, if we take this and we translate exactly in Google translation, let us uh, search for Google translation. Uh, let us go and open Google translation. Google translation. All right. This is Google Translation. I'm going to copy and paste exactly the text as it is. This is the text. Copy. Copy. Then paste. All right. Now, for sure, the translation is not too much accurate. Yeah. Here they are saying that the letter Aleph, the reason it was not deleted for the lack of use, which means if the word is not used too much in the Quran, we are talking about the word BSM. The word which is not used too much in the Quran, it was not deleted, the letter Aleph, because, because of the lack of use. So because that word in the front of the name of Allah, Muslim, they have to repeat it all day long, then they had to delete it to make it easier to read. You see, they are not saying Allah is the one who made it this way. This is what the Muslims did. You see here, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. said, "Don't. Yeah. It's not deleted them except, except when it is in the front of the name of Allah only because of because of their a lot of use." Google translation not too much accurate, but it's clear, right? So because yeah. a lot of use, the Muslims decided. Did Allah say to the Muslims, oh, delete it because of what of use, or this is the opinion of the Muslims? Did Allah give them a verse in the Quran says, don't use it, don't uh, delete it, this is the correct way? No. But because a lot of use, Muslims, they keep using Bismillahi. So in order to be saying Bism, which is hard to recite and to sing the Quran, because remember, the Muslims, they, they, they sing the Quran. So when they sing it, if they want to say bism, it's not good. So bism, you know. So to make the song nicer, they deleted letters from the Quran. So and this is the opinion of the Muslim. This is not my. This, this is not me saying that. You can go right now and check this fatwa, and this is the fatwa number five zero five five zero seven, and this is the official your Islamic official website, Islam Web Fatwa. You see in the top it says fatwa. Yeah, I mean, that's a bit funny. Uh, CP, I've got just one more question for you. That's regarding chapter 31, verse number six. Where does it mean, Lahu al Hadith? Since there's no honest translation for this verse. Well, the word Lahu can come with many meanings. One of them is a woman. Women, you know, like Allah, He said in the Quran, uh, if we want to have fun, uh, to have sex, then we can we will we will take lahu from our kind and he meant by that a woman from our kind however in the in the uh, in the verse you quote for us it is uh, about uh, you know like music uh, uh, songs so those like here if you read here with me wamal hayatu illa dunya illa which mean 
life is nothing but women and fun and you know to entertainment uh, so what here he's saying those who do waste their time speaking about something except God Th this is the hadith which means something is not worthy it's for fun you know so those who do that those are the ones who Allah he hate he don't like them this is why Muhammad he said that the one who play uh, a chess he is doing uh, or music or uh, uh, he is doing lahwal hadith lahwal hadith is singing is a music you know uh, or somebody uh, uh, you know talking telling story or anything except you are not talking about Allah and about Islam it is lahu the, the the speech for fun talking for fun singing for fun well what if it means and among the human is he who buys for himself statement hadith lahu means for himself first of all there's a corruption of vowels here it's lahwa lahwa is not even a word by the way if you read it according to the vowels uh you know i'm trying just to uh, to get uh, what you are talking about it's uh, chapter 31 verse number six yeah you know uh, what it says in the front of you yeah. those who take uh, or they let us say the word yesterday mean buy so the one yeah. who spend his time or even his money for the sake of what it's called uh, talk for no no purpose not for the purpose of Allah he is doing that so he might deceive people from the guidance to Allah and those who they are doing that for fun or to to make jokes or etc those Allah is going to uh, humiliate them and he is going to torture them now if we go to the Quran uh, interpretation for this uh, this verse uh, uh, you will find that according to Muslims uh, most of the Muslims agree uh, that this is about music um, let me let me see if I can find you um, in the hadith Muhammad. so music is a hadith now uh, here we go you see here anything anything like Muhammad he he, uh, he added many things to the, this this uh, chapter so uh, read with me here the the message of Allah SAW said do not sell slaves female singers not purchase them nor teach them to sing and there's no good in trading in them and their prices are unlawful it was about the like that of this ayah was revealed and among the mankind who purchase idle talk to divert from Allah way so Muhammad he have no problem for you buying girls uh, selling girls but if you are buying them and selling them and those girls are bought for singing Muhammad he don't approve that because the music and the singing is haram this is what he meant by lahu al hadith you remember I told you the word lahu originally it's mean women well there's a Quranic verse as well inna hu haza lahu wa hakul yakin no that's different that's just different lahu sometime it can come some something and something else here uh, uh, it's about fun Lahua, there's Lahua and there's Lahu. Lahua, it is. It means it is. And Lahu, it means fun. And the fun here in Arabic language means women. This is why in the Quran says, if we want to have fun, which means women, he said, we will take it from our kind. If we go in the Quran here, uh, لو أردنا أن نتخذ لهوة اتخذناه من لدنا. If we want to take fun, you know, we will take it from our kind. If we go to the interpretation, we find that Allah is saying that if we want to take uh, yeah. women, women for sex to have a child from her, then we will take it from those who they are the virgins, the the black-eyed houri, you know, and uh, uh, the the angels. Right, chapter twenty-one, verse number seventeen. 
Or maybe this could have an understanding Allah could make something for himself. Some words appear for somebody who don't speak Arabic. They appear, they, are, they look, they sound the same, but they are not the same, right? However, here the word lahu in both chapters we are reading from, it's about women for fun and for fun, generally speaking. So here it says, uh, had we desire to find some diversion that in which provides diversion in the way of partner or a child, we would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed huris. This is Lelahu, as we said, it's a female. Or well, that's angels. according to the scholars. I'll be honest with you, these Muslim scholars are retarded, they can't even count alphabets in a verse. It doesn't matter as long as the Muslims are the one who believe in this and this is their scholar. We have to go and show. Yeah, them what they sadly, majority believes in this nonsense. No, That's actually, just actually not weird. sadly. This is not sadly. This is good. The Muslim today, they are trying to deny the scholars to get away from the stupidity of Islam because this is what Muhammad meant. He is saying, if we want to take a woman for fun, we will take it from our kind. Then here we have a problem. How he say Allah that he will take a woman from his kind. It says here from ourselves. You see, the Muslims, when we see, we say, we say why Allah? He say we. They say we. It's a, just a, a word meaning our Majesty. You know, like a, a, a we, the King, right? We, the uh, etc. So Allah, He uses, but here they cannot say that this is we mean we, the King, because now Allah is going to have sex with we. He's well, this could also have understanding. It whatever Allah creates, it's from Allah because everything is from Allah. No, no. You see, Allah makes no, a partner no, for no, no, no. You see. Allah here is talking about what Allah is talking supposedly I'm not going to take a child or a wife from those who they are in the earth which like Mary yeah he's answering about Mary Allah if you want to take he will take from ourself who is the one ourself is his kind who is in heaven Mary is not yeah Mary is a human being creature the, eyed, being. the beautiful eyed is a whore who is created in heaven so Allah is telling us here what kind he want and the kind he what is ourself ourself here present what in Arabic the word is laduna our kind in Arabic actually when I say from laduni it's mean from my blood like you know I say my son is from my ladun which means it's from, from my blood is my son it's just like every ru is from Allah just same concept similar yeah it is exactly it is from my my family my tribe my kind my people this is what laduna mean so here Allah is saying if you want to take a, a partner and he is counting two kind of uh, uh, creatures female women who are created only for the heaven those are not for the earth and angels if you notice with me here and which both of them they share one thing they are from the heaven so our self is of my kind who is the, uh, the kind of Allah is the one who is in heaven and by Allah saying from our kind then we need to ask ourselves how Allah is equal now to marry a, a woman if he is not a man. How Allah, he says, if we want to take a partner, which means a wife or a woman, we will take it from the beautiful eyed women. If Allah is not a man, how Allah how Allah is going to have sex with this woman? You know? yeah. I hope people are, are, are uh, understanding what I'm trying to say here. If Allah is not a man, so what this point of this stupid statement here? I mean, if I want to take, I will take it from the black-eyed women. But are you a man? No. So what do you would do? What do you? How you will have sex? Well, the with the purpose the is, I believe that Allah is not taking anything. Nothing's happening. Well, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it is possible if Allah want, He will take still the black-eyed women, and He's the one who's saying that, right? Yes. Okay. So as long as it's possible, it's mean it's possible too. If you want, He can have sex. But God is not a man supposedly in Islam. So what he is? That's mean he have a you know remember well the Quran does not speak of who Allah really is a man or not. Allah is not a man, definitely. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. The Muslim they all of them they agree that Allah is not a man and Allah not nothing like Allah, but the beautiful eyed women are human. So how we can make partnership between God because and they're the not human. human according to the Quran, they're new creation, there's something else. Halakul Jadid word is being used. No problem, but you see, when you say that they are they are going to be your spouse, spouse must be a human. Otherwise, they are having sex with animals. 
well the Quran also says uh, you will be Khalq al Jadid as well. You will be a new creation. No problem, but still they are a human being. There is no Muslim. Yeah, you can say that advanced there's humans no, or something. There is no Muslim who he will say that the whore are not a human. They are a human. And question, CB, what is your understanding of the word Masjid al Haram? What does it mean? <laughs> Uh, Masjid al Haram is a uh, is uh, the place where uh, uh, is, uh, like the second uh, like uh, place of worship doesn't mean anything doesn't mean it's a Mecca. I don't know which mean... dictionary says that Haram means sacred. Haram means yes, sacred. forbidden. Haram is forbidden. Yes. So it is like because because remember in the Quran, uh, um, Allah He said that those who they are not Muslims are najis. Therefore, they cannot enter that space. Yeah, I so, do agree with you. The masjid is haram on them. Yeah. That's a correct understanding. So why why it is sacred mosque? Because the mushrikun, not everyone is allowed to enter to it. Only the Muslims. For the Muslims, only the one are clean, and the rest of mankind they are filthy, dirty, according to Islam. Well, they installed the black stone in the Kaaba, so they are the same Najis people today. Well, this is what they say. The Muslims, they believe that they are the best of mankind and they are the most clean people. But as we know that the Prophet, uh, he was full of lies and he used to take shower with dirty, with dead dogs and women blood from period. So I don't, you know, obviously here. Yeah, Muslim, and they consider all this stuff holy. The guy who wrote those hadiths is... You know, just clearly mocking Muhammad, and they uh, take it seriously and believe in that stuff. They no, think it's no, holy. Nobody is mocking Muhammad because the one who wrote those hadith are Muslims, and they are their scholars. So how? Well, see, be? if I were, if I existed fourteen hundred years back, and if this was a reality, this really happened, I would not have written it down. I would not have done that. I would have given him a positive image. So these people were not Muslims, and honest. If you see Muslims of today. They're hardly honest. Hardly will find honest people among them. Okay, oh, oh, hold on. Let me ask you then. Why? Why then? No, not a, even a single Muslim reject those hadith. And you know the Muslims are aggressive people. And I think you are a Muslim yourself, right? Yeah. Okay. So why nobody uh, announced that uh, An-Nisa'i, the Imam An-Nisa'i, should be killed for saying that? Do you, you know, well, that if, if somebody if that. somebody insult the Prophet. They believe kill him, right? That's what Muhammad said. So if somebody insult Muhammad, kill him. Why none of the Muslims says, Well, you know what? This guy, Abu Dawood, this guy, uh, An Nisai, this guy at Turmudi, they are the enemy of Allah and they are not Muslims and they are fabricating stories about Muhammad. Why nobody made a fatwa against them to be killed? Well, and why the Muslims are well, devil? Why the Muslims are printing those hadith and publishing them and accept them? To be the best answer to this question is, is chapter six, verse hundred and twelve. Hmm. What that? It's us? quite clear that they are the devils. Who? If you can bring that verse up, chapter six, verse number hundred and twelve. Who is the devil? These people, these who wrote the hadiths, Bukhari, Abu Dawud, and everybody else, they were the jinns, they were possessed by the jinns. Yeah, but and those who believe in them, they have a disease in their heart. Okay, but but Muhammad himself, as proven by Muslims, and you know, that he was possessed by the devil too. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, just because we don't like what they said, then we say they are possessed by the devil. That's all, you know. Same time, <laughs> why you are blaming them. The, the chapter you are quoting for me, chapter 6, verse 1 to 12, it says, Allah is the one who made for every prophet an enemy of the devils. Correct? Yeah. Okay. True. What the purpose of Allah doing that? Well, uh, the purpose is to expose those people. It's exposed. Uh, it's no, no, been. No. Uh, why he oh. made them? Well, no, this is not the question. The question why yeah. he made them enemies. To Muhammad, those people with disease in their heart, those who do not no, believe but they are in the victorious, that. they are the one who fabricated and they are the winner, as according to you. Yeah, they are the winners. Yeah, so, they are the winners. Yeah, but but supposedly Muhammad, uh, Allah, He told him that I am, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I am protecting you, so nothing will harm you, you know. So, how He harmed, how He protected Muhammad, and Muhammad is harmed by those people, and how come all the Muslims believe in them? Because if those well, people are the one, most who, of the Muslims they're just sinners. They just believe in that nonsense. Yeah, but you know, Muhammad himself proving that he is the one is possessed. 
because uh, well, they, they let, let, let me ask you. Can you read for me? Can you read for me? Can you read for me chapter forty, verse number thirty-three? Uh, let me get that verse. Let me put it in the screen for people here. Verse number twenty-three. The forty, verse number thirty-three. Fourteen, right? Forty, not fourteen. Fourteen. Verse number 13, right? 33. 33, sorry. Chapter 40, verse number 33. And the day you will turn your backs fleeing, there is not for you from Allah any protector. And whoever Allah leaves astray, there is not for him any guide. Okay. So can we blame those people? Who is the devil? You quote for me that shaitan is the one who will deceive people, right? Yeah, but the verse confirmed that the one is deceiving them is Allah. Well, uh, Allah can do anything. No, no, no. Allah plays both sides. This, this is not the point. The point is the one who Allah deceived, no guidance for him. Does it say that? Even Satan was deceived by God. By Allah. Not by yes. God. Okay. Now uh, hold that, on. That's what Satan okay. said. That you have. So why we are claiming? Why, why we are claiming? Uh, why we are claiming? Al Bukhari, let's say Al Bukhari was a liar. So, why we are blaming Al Bukhari if all the deception is coming from Allah anyway? Who is the one who deceived Al Bukhari? Well, th this is the point where I would say that Allah knows best, and what Allah is doing no, is the right no, thing. No, no, Those people deserve this is, to be. This is not a, a true answer because you know the story of Adam and Musa, right? When they have a debate, Adam and Musa. Uh, they had debate with each other. Yeah, they have a debate. Uh, That's not from the Quran, I believe. Well, this is from the Hadith. Yeah, Hadith. Yeah, I've heard that debate. Yeah. So uh, uh, when when uh, uh, when they have a debate, and this is something all the Muslims agree upon, and it's part of the Islam yeah, believe, in the, believe in the destiny, according to the uh, to Muhammad, that. Uh, Adam, his sin, his fate of sin was written for him 40 years before he was created. So we can't blame Adam for being deceived because Allah wrote that before he created him. Correct? Well, uh, uh, whoever wrote this hadith sure had a stairway into heaven or something. That's a revelation. What do you mean? This is nonsense hadith. I mean, they just make up stuff. These, uh, you know, hadith fanboys, they just love making up stuff. This is another made up story. But just to, you know, but isn't it destiny and fate? It is, it is from the Quran. Well, destiny is in the Quran, but um, if you fulfill it or not, that's a different story. Then Allah says, I will inform you what you have accomplished of your destiny. Hmm. So this okay. is a bit complicated. Okay, let us, let us see. No, no, let's let us see. It's not complicated. Let me make it simple for you. Uh, if we, if we, let me try to do this. Okay. Chapter 2, verse number 212. It says, it is, it is beautified for those who they are kuffar to life. It's beautified by who? Yeah. By Allah. Okay. So, like successful people like Bukhari and Abu Dawood yeah. and the Khalifas. So Allah is Allah who made them misguided and Allah is the one who made them see things in a different way. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Because Allah so is what not is, unjust. So what is the fault of those people? What, so what is the fault of those people? Allah knows best. Okay. That's a good answer. Allah knows best. All right. So what if we go uh, 
in chapter 2 verse number 213 it says wallahu yahdi man and allah he guide who he wish to the straight way so it True. was at the end of the day it's wish, it, it is the wish of allah it's not your wish yes okay and this is also one of the last verses of surah al-insan where allah right. says take a wish with allah but you will do not will i will no problem okay so now everything you you join islam you leave islam you became like al bukhari you became like a christian prince according to islam it is allah will do you agree yeah i do agree okay so what is my why i will go to hell <laughs> i have absolutely no idea but allah might have mercy on you because no, no. if you read about you jesus see, i don't and care love. about allah allah doesn't exist but i'm asking you if you just agreed that it is Allah who made me Christian Prince. Allah made me delete refuse Islam. Allah made me attack Muhammad. Allah made me insult Muhammad. Allah made me uh, right now we're speaking to you. So why Allah is going to punish me for what he made me? Is that justice? Well, that's something Allah knows. I can't answer on this stuff. Because Can you read for me chapter two? Can you read for me chapter two, verse number two seven two? Uh let me chapter 2 verse 272 not upon you is responsibility for their guidance but allah guides whom he wills and whatever good you spend is for yourself and you do not spend expect uh, expect seeking the countenance of allah and whatever you spend of good it will be fully repaid to you and you will not be wrong so why allah is saying in different verses as example chapter 9 verse number 29 uh, all prophet you know fight those who don't believe in allah if it is not his responsibility to guide them anyway or to force them to convert to islam that's is self-defense huh what's self-defense self how the attack no it says fight those who don't believe in allah not the one who fighting you the christians and the jews the Christian specifically never fought Muhammad. Actually, they are the one who gave him refugee army to attack the Roman who never attacked him. He sent the letter well, with the hell. Yeah. That's not in Quran, he by said, the way. He, he said, fought anyone, my friend. No, it's in the Quran. It's in the Quran. Muhammad in the Quran, chapter 9, verse 29 says, Fight those who don't fight to kill those who don't believe in Allah, not fight to kill those who fight you. Well, if you look at the context, that's only in uh, Makkah. My friend, those Christians are not in Mecca. The, the Christians he is talking about, it was the Christians in Bilad al-Sham in Syria. Those are have nothing to do with Mecca. This is why Muhammad he prepared an army and he went to Tabuk, but he could not make it. He, you know, he could not uh, accomplish his mission. It was a failure, and he came back. After that, the Muslims continue by the the children of Abu Sufyan. So Muhammad he received a chapter from his God saying that fight them, kill them for not believing. But this verse saying it's not on it's not your duty to make them believe it is Allah who will make them believe did Allah make anyone believe well that that's all up to Allah I can't really answer on this one these are the matters of Allah yeah but Allah here saying it's not for you it is it is me who will guide them but Allah in different verses says I am the one who must guide and I am the one who guide so he's saying here clearly Muhammad, you, you you are just a guy to deliver a message. That's all, right? Yes, Muhammad is just okay. a delivery guy. So why it. he ask him to go and wage army and go and attack and kill and uh, you know whoever don't believe in Allah kill him? Why he is ordering him that uh, 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 cut the hands and cut the legs and you know this is not that this is not a message delivery. A message delivery is somebody he deliver a message, and after that I have he have not no business to do. But well, the there's person, a story behind the this. Because, cut, no, listen. A, a person yeah. when I cut my hand and cut my feet, he is not a messenger no more. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So that uh, that's a contradiction. But here the whole idea is Muhammad when he was weak, he have no army to kill and to to destroy. He I said, well, I know I just I do my duty. I'm okay. You know, I'm okay. I will tell you the truth and uh, bye bye. Nice meeting you. Yeah, because now he is not a powerful man but when he is a person who is a powerful man the story is different uh, the Quran confirmed that everything happened by the will of Allah anything you know yeah true okay so everything you do is Allah doing not your doing 
which means the reward and the punishment of Islam is stupid because Allah he should reward himself if I do good because he is the one who did it not me Allah also says somewhere in the Quran that if I knew any good in them I would have guided them yeah but this is contradiction with Allah because if Allah he is the one who knows <laughs> yeah Allah doesn't know any good in them and you see okay uh, Allah he do not know but Allah is the one who decide for us any good and any bad anyway I mean, he is the one who wrote for us before he created us. If we're going to be bad or, or good, this is what destiny is about. So why, he, if he knew, what do you, what he mean? If he knew they have a good, he will guide them. When he is the one who wrote the good and the bad of them. If I before well, be, before I created the man, if I am God, before I created him, and then I decide, uh, uh, you know. Uh, to make your destiny and this destiny is something you cannot escape it's what I wrote for you uh, the Quran says we you know uh, we created everything by destiny uh, 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 you know uh, everything we made is uh, by a measure uh, and what he's talking about is talking about everything will happen to you and your in your life before you are created he decide your destiny what you will be So how we can how we can punish someone for destiny? He have no. Well, choice. they are destined from the side of Allah, but it it depends on the person as well. If he really wants to follow his destiny and be a Muslim, or he does not want to fulfill what is destined for him. But but everything I do is written for me before he created me. Well, it doesn't say in the Quran that everything is been written. Allah says Allah knows, but Allah does not say it's already been written. Uh, no, that no, is no. from the hadiths, actually. No, no, actually, you know, there is a. Uh, uh, let me let me see how I can explain that to you. Yeah, sure. Uh, if we. Uh, let us do this. <clears throat> okay in chapter 13 verse number 26 it says that Allah is the one who give as you wish and he is the one who decide he decree he decree what exactly? Chapter 13. Whatever verse. Allah wishes. Yeah, he decree what? But uh, that's the point. It's not, uh, it doesn't actually say that it's been written down and everything, but it's no, decreed, he, decreed that this should dec happen. Decreed what exactly? I'm, just, I'm asking you, decreed what? That Allah has made up his mind. About what? About guidance, misguidance, anything. Hmm. So it's he made up his mind about your guidance or your misleading. So you are not you are not created yet, but Allah he made his mind. You can say that. Okay. If we go to chapter eighty seven, verse number three, it says, What does that mean? Chapter eighty seven. Destined. Verse he made three. he made a destiny. Qadr, qadara means destiny. Thank you very much. So Allah, He is the one who made a destiny, and He guide, which means this destiny is what is going to decide for you. It doesn't matter what you do, you know. Well, this destiny could be guiding to old age, guiding from the mother's womb safely. No, no, no. Qadara, qadara is what He decide for you before He created you. This is. Is his is his decree? He decree, all right? Yeah, decision. You so, can you can say that because right. they have. Been, but this is yeah. not after. This is before he created you. So he made a decision, and his decision, 
uh, you know, is made by Allah and whatever Allah He wished. Like if you go to chapter 87, verse number 7, it says, except what Allah wants. I mean, at the end of the day, it's what Allah wants. And what Allah wants, in that verse I gave you, it says it clearly that except what He degree and He guide after that. Degree and He guide who? Degree and He guide those who He decided to, to, to guide. And so it is His decision, not your choice. So the question then, why I'm going to to be rewarded or punished if it is Allah who decide who is going to be guided, who is going to be misguided? Because Allah knows what we do not know. That's, no, no, no. That I you see, He decreed for you before He created you. Because He did not wait. This is not about knowing. You see, this is about He decreed. There's there's a difference between I know and I decree. The decree here, he is making your fate, and your fate is something you cannot escape. It's something. Yes, everything from faith to lifestyle to education, okay. everything. So everything he decided for you before he created you. So why he is going to punish you for something he decreed for you? Well, you're asking me why. <laughs> How can I answer you on this uh, one? Just we are having a conversation. So this is here. There's no justice, and it's very confusing and very not, not smart. So. If I am the one who decree for you to be a Muslim and Allah is the one who decree for me to be Christian, why Allah want to punish me for he decree for me to be Christian? Bro, what can I say? Okay. And here, as you see, you told me there is nothing in the Quran like this. No, it says that Allah, he decree for you. Decree, you will see here, you will see if you if you focus with me with the, uh, with the words, and uh, this is something most of people don't do it says he decree and then guide not guide and he yep. decree okay so the degree come first degree first and then guidance all right that's mean the decision is made before the guidance and the guidance is to follow yes the guidance could be anything guidance right. could be so misleading. he determined already he determined already huh? who he will guide and who is the one who will do good or evil as you see this is the muslim interpretation so what kind of religion this god is going to punish me for something he determined he decide he want to punish me for something is not my choice yes then that means it doesn't make sense and this is a stupid religion Okay, what is your understanding of this verse 36, chapter number 36, verse number 12? Chapter 36, verse number 12. I will not give you my understanding. I will give you what Muslims understand it because at the end of the day. No, I'm sick of their understanding. They come up with weird stuff after another. They just lie no just problem. too much. But Don't even call we have Muslims. to show what the Muslims Please. believe. Okay. Uh, we are the one who resurrect people from death and we are the one who wrote what they uh, what they what they gave and their what they left behind and everything is uh, let us say um, uh, let us say calculated or um, uh, registered uh, by us you know with the clear numbers or yes, clear... what they accomplished and left what they put forth and what they left behind of destiny i believe is that true no no the, yeah this is their destiny before he created them it's written already uh, we are the one who who bring people to death all right and uh, and we are the one who wrote wrote before what they did so we wrote what they are going to do before they do what they did this is actually what the Muslims agree with it too. So we wrote, you know, you know that the Muslim believe that Allah He wrote in His preserved table, tab tablet, everything, right? What He wrote, including your destiny. Everything written there. So what is they have left behind, and what they have put forth? What what is that thing? What no, there's nothing is called left behind, and nothing is really put forward. It is something He is saying to you. Everything you did in your life, which you live, you present, or if you are a person who died already, everything is written by Allah before you are created, and 
we are the one who will resurrect you from death anyway and we have everything you did written by us before you do it and everything is preserved it's not going to be lost so you die or not that will not make any difference and because we have it before we created you yeah you can say that yeah yeah and that's what the muslims themselves they agree upon i'm not even saying well this is their understanding but the verse does not literally say that what's being written well you have to you know the same as the muslim uh, i don't want to do what the muslims do to the bible we have to connect the dots we, we cannot take a verse out of the quran and we say this is exactly what we want to understand we have to match it with all the verses we quote already together me and you and then we understand that allah is the one who made the destiny he is the one who guide he is the one who misguide he is the one who decide for you everything before he created you we spoke about well that is true. okay so now we, we we just add this one which you mentioned to the other ones and they will complete each other so before you are created and after you die nothing will change everything is written that's all what the verse is saying now because you are trying to uh, escape the hadith that will make it supposed to be hard on me or harder but the hadith confirm all of this muhammad he said it clearly that even a child if you if he die not necessarily he will go to heaven because allah he wrote for everyone what where he will be before he created him regardless if he commits sin or not uh, if we go to the hadith we will find Aisha this is on Sahih Muslim and the Muslims agree upon this hadith that Aisha she thought that a child who is born uh, you know an infant who die in a very early age uh, she thought he would be a bird from the birds of uh, heaven he will be a sparrow so uh, Muhammad he did not like what Aisha she said because you know he, she's wrong because uh, Allah decide who will be in heaven and who will be in hell regardless of their sin so Aisha is speaking logic she thought because this person this is child never commits sin she is saying here the following if we're together it says Aisha she said Allah messenger there is happiness there is happiness for this child who is a bird from paradise of paradise for it commit no sin nor has reached the age of sin so it's clear now that this person this child is very baby the little baby is not even like five years old or it's just little baby mostly is an infant <laughs> and he commit no sin so this is the logic of Aisha and I agree with Aisha with her logic he said and he committed Aisha, no good deed as well yeah, by the way yeah so Aisha uh, 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 he said to Aisha we are adventure which we watch watch don't be stupid it may be otherwise, which means it might be, it be the bird of hell. <laughs> Why? Because Allah created for paradise who are, who are fit for it while they were in their father alliance. And he created just for like hell. Can I say something? Just one thing. Yeah. Uh, do you know that uh, angels will serve birds of paradise in uh, Jannah? You know that there's a verse in the Quran that they will have uh, meat of any bird they desire in the paradise so we'll be eating like children well uh, you know the Quran is full of stories and they are funny uh, but but for me I'm trying to confront the destiny which is proven as time to be stupid anyway because as long as the Muslim they keep repeating for us saying that uh, Islam is religion of justice and Allah is all justice so where is the justice that this child he is going to go to hell but yet he never commits sin the muslims they try to say to us that you go to hell because of sin then we find that adam's sin it was the sin of allah and my sin is the sin of allah and you commit sin or you don't commit sin it doesn't matter you might go to hell you might go to heaven based on Allah's decision so allah he decided before he created you and your sin have nothing to do that's true Okay, it's all so, up to Allah. So what kind of this religion is? So why why the Quran says those who do good deeds they will go to heaven and they have no fear when when everything in Islam is based on the opposite? Because it's not your deeds what will help you, 
Allah also said, if you're no, not a Muslim, if you do not believe in the Quran, Allah will waste your deeds like uh, dust on a stone washed by the rain. It doesn't matter. You see, there's tons of stories, but we want to focus on something very simple. You as a Muslim, it's not your choice to be a Muslim. Allah decree for you to be a Muslim. And the same for me, not to be a Muslim. So then Allah, he says in the Quran that if you make a good deed, I will give you a reward. And then we find that your good deed will not help you anyway, because it is he decree before he created you. So the, the, the Islam is a collection of stupid uh, promises. Because uh, this is a contradiction, how the one who do good deeds will go to heaven and he have no fear. And then how he says that Allah, he made and decreed for you what you will be. And even the sin you do, it is was the wish of Allah. So why he says in one verses that Allah will punish me for my sin and other verses says it was his wish to make me sinner in other verse he says it is it is him who who he, he guide or misguide and it is him who uh, uh, who decide before he created me to be a sinner or a good person and yet he is going to punish me for all his decisions well because Allah knows what's within you and what's within me no 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 he know nothing you know we can prove that Allah know nothing anyway because if well, Allah, that, that's a different story then yeah, that, no, that's, no, that's not a different that's story because if Allah problem. do not know if Allah do not know where the sperm is coming from well he cannot know what I would do right I mean he's a God but you do not know that, that the women have no sperm and he think women have a sperm coming from the ribs when we say Allah he knows everything that should be proven what kind of God do you think that the Sun goes and travel every day and sit in his murky water and the sun and, and the sun rise from a place and he found next to it place of people uh, so when the muslim says to us allah knows best allah knows nothing allah is not exist this is muhammad muhammad he copies stories from people around him and he added to his book and he claimed that this is his god talking and you have to obey and who dare to say this is stupid you know why why the muslims they don't make an amazing uh, science of the of the Quran speaking about women have a sperm coming from their ribs. We don't see one, not even one Muslim making video of the amazing discovery. Imagine if science discovered that women, yes, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. The Muslims will make us stories about it. But because nobody would believe in such a crazy thing, the Muslims, they hide it and they don't want to speak about it. Who is in well, the, even hide the Quran, you know, it's uh, you know forbidden to read the Quran if you do not uh, read the tafsir, you cannot read the Quran, it's a crime, by the way, according what, to them. What do you mean? You cannot read the Quran unless you read the tafsir, it's a crime. Quran is misleading, Quran misleads, according to them. Who said that to you? Almost all of the Muslims I've met so far. Oh, so they say to you, if you read the Quran alone without the tafsir, is going to misguide you? Yep, true. What well, the Quran confirmed that in the Quran is it doesn't it say in, in chapter 3, verse number 7, that this Quran have some verses are clear and some are. Yeah, mutashabe, right? which uh, means similar verses but unclear. Only Allah knows the mutashabe. Okay, and what those verses will do? And those who have a disease in their hearts, they will seek fitna hmm. by seeking understanding to them. They will go outside the Quran for the understanding. Okay. So, so Allah, he knew, supposedly, that he, in his Quran, there is a problem. And the problem is that the Quran is going to be used to misguide people, but not because uh, people are, you know, let us say... Uh, uh, be, not because the Quran is clear, not because because the Quran is perfect, because the Quran is stupid. So people they will have a chance to do stupid things with it. This is what he's saying. There's verses are clear and there's verses are not clear. And those who have sickness in their heart, they will use the ones is not clear too. So why Allah don't make it clear? Just to mislead them and expose them. How they seek fitna through those verses. No, but it says, my friend, it says nobody knows their meaning save Allah. Yeah, that, that, that's why Allah says that no. they will go outside the yeah, Quran. No, no, but you see, you see, that, let me explain to you. If I give you a book and I say to you, this book is the book of guidance. Can I say that some of it is book of guidance and some of it is book of shaitan? 
or all of it is book but of guidance. If you ask me, even I don't know all of the Quran. I haven't met a person who knows no, all no, of the Quran. That. I'm not talking about you know all the Quran. I'm saying, if I give you the Quran, uh, you as a Muslim, do you accept the Quran as a book of guidance or the book of misleading? I accept it as a book of guidance. Okay, but here the verse saying to us that there is a part of Quran is a part of misguiding. Not guidance. yes, that's what I do. I do not seek interpretation. Okay, no, no, no. You see, it doesn't matter. You I see, uh, my, my, my friend, no, you need to seek interpretation because if you don't go by the scars, you, you try to seek it by yourself anyway. Yes, I seek it by myself. Okay, because that's okay. Now, uh, let me ask you, let me ask you, what is the verses which is misguide people? Which ones can you name them for me? How I will know? I which... think the best example is Allahu Malaika tu Yassallu Alan Nabi. Uh, I think it's 3356. That's the best verse. Why? Well, uh, they end up worshipping Muhammad uh, according to that verse. Well, they twist the translation for the verse. Right, but uh, still, this is not really will make people. Uh, I mean, this. Is... I think it has misled many. Yeah, well, there is. Uh, uh, okay, but the, the Muslims don't agree that this is one of the ones they are mutashabihat. The Muslim, they think that but they, very... they don't call it mutashabi because they love it. They love Muhammad. They love worshiping him. Mm, okay. They uh, say in their salat. Okay, the what salat about? Day. Okay. What? What about? Okay. Let us see. Do you think that the first chapter Allah gave to Muhammad is from the mutashabihat, which means the one nobody understand what they mean? The first one. Which one is it? The first Worship. one. The first one. Fatiha. No, Al Fatiha is not the first one. No, I believe the Fatiha is the first one. I don't think chapter 96, uh, Surah al alaq I think that's that's not the first one. What is, that's your, just what is your proof? Do you have a proof? Well, if you read Surah al najm it's quite clear in the Quran that Muhammad saw an angel descend from the sky. Where it and says an angel? angel where, it says, to... where, where it says the, the word angel? Do you, can chapter you show 50... it to me? Huh? Chapter 53. Yeah, but where it says the word angel? Uh, it does not say the word angel. So, we saw something. So you see now you are contradicting yourself. You told me I'm not going to seek the understanding of the scars interpretation. I will seek my own. And now you came with the conclusion that this is an angel, but there is nowhere it says angel. So why you say the angel? But the fact. Well, it's only Jibrail who brought the Quran, so it must be oh, Jibrail. Doesn't it matter. Doesn't angel. matter. Doesn't matter. Let us say. Let us say God. He sent an angel to Mary. But it's possible that God. Came down as the same what happened to Musa. Why we connect, you know, here, here. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, uh, specific who is the one is coming. Except it says clearly that it is God because look what look look what it says here. Uh, in verse number ten, it says "fa'oha ila abdihi ma oha." Can you translate that one for me? Uh, maybe you can open the translation. Uh, my Arabic is not that good. That's yeah, okay. And you are the one who said, generally speaking, the Muslims, your brothers, they fabricate a translation, right? Here we will see a translation fabricated. How what Abdihi mean? Which chapter and verse is this? What? The Which same, chapter? Is chapter it? The, the, the Najm. You mentioned to me a Najm, so I'm quoting from you what you quote for me. Chapter 53, uh -huh. verse number 10. Right, just a second. Verse number 10 it is. And he revealed to his servant what he revealed. Okay. So actually in Arabic, Abduhu is his slave, right? Yeah. Okay. So is Muhammad the slave of Jibreel? No, he's the slave of Allah. That is how Allah revealed uh, to his slave. Okay. But all of this story is speaking about the same person who came down and he revealed. This is Allah. It cannot be the angel Jibreel, otherwise the angel Jibreel is, uh, is the master of Muhammad. 
you see here uh, if you know a little bit Arabic you will see it says he continue yeah. and he is so close that to the point to the point he is like one bow or two from him so close to him and then he inspire what he inspired to his slave so we are speaking still about the same person who just came down why he came down came down to inspire okay how this is Jibreel yet we call him Muhammad is his slave well that is how Allah speaks in the poetry since Quran does not speak of Allah speaking to Muhammad directly anywhere in the Quran it was Jibreel okay can you show me where it says that only Jibreel spoke to Muhammad no it does not say that okay so no. now you can you are the one who said I'm not going to go by the scholars because they give fast uh, interpretation but no uh, because the Quran says that it was Jibreel who brought this on his heart he, well you know Jib Jibreel is just one of the angels of God yeah angel okay okay so well, uh, but here speaking about a guy who is Muhammad is his slave it cannot be Jibreel so we need to explain well, then what I believe that Jibreel is excluded here and that Allah is explaining how Allah revealed to his servant no 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 you see he's talking about the, uh, talking about how he came down you see here if you read with me um, I, I have big in front of me when he was in the uppermost in the horizon then he drew nigh and came down till he yeah. was descendant to bows and he revealed into his slaves so the Muslim now they made the he in a big text capital letter, but in Arabic we don't have such a thing, you know. Arabic there's there's no capital letter, there's no such thing. So he is the same as he here, the same as he here. This is why he's coming down. Well, he Allah has here. written it in such a poetry deliberately to mislead few, to guide few. That that is what I believe is behind the behind how Allah wrote these verses. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, that is my personal understanding. Let, let, let I don't let know what let, let me ask you, where, where is Allah located? I don't know, Allah's everywhere. Where do you get this from? Well, uh, the Quran says Allah is near to you than your throat. That's all I know. If you ask me where Allah is, um, uh, hold on. There's some people they are asking why we are not streaming in YouTube. We are streaming in different channels in YouTube for those who want to know. We are streaming. In Facebook, we are streaming in different channel in YouTube. That's all. I don't think you should have changed your channel. <laughs> it's what it's it's Allah wish, my friend. What I can do? I mean, Allah decree, right. <laughs> Allah decree for me. I have to obey. Yeah. So uh, anyway, Allah is look is exists everywhere, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a reference for that? No, I don't have any reference. That's the verse. Only verse I have that. Allah so is near. Where you from? You okay, let through. me ask you, what Allah mean? Allah is just a name. Well, yeah, everybody have a name. I mean, that's fine, but every name have a meaning. What's I don't know, to be honest with you. Okay. No. So the Muslim they have a name for their God, but they do not know what the name, name, name mean. Do you know what is the reason for that? Well, Allah says, "I call Allah with any good name." I don't believe Allah has a fixed name. Allah is the word used by the pre-Islamic Arabs for the God. Hmm. So that's why Allah picked up this word. Hmm. So Allah is a is a name exists before Islam, and the Muslim they just hijack the new name, the old name, and they give it to their God. Well, Allah spoke, and Allah said, "This is the true Allah. The Allah you're worshiping hmm. is." Not true. Okay. You know, you know, you said to me that the first verse was given to Muhammad. It was Al Fatiha, correct? Yeah. Okay. Bismillah. All right. Then how we can explain this story here? Muhammad he said that yeah. all the good names belong to Allah. Yeah. You call him a Rahman or you call him something else, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right. Chapter 17, verse number 110. If the chapter of the one you name Al Fatiha is the first chapter, why Allah, why Muhammad is explaining who is a Rahman? Why he have to call why, why he have to explain who is this guy? A Rahman. If he is already told you a Rahman in the first chapter, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. First chapter, he's a Rahman. So why now? 
He was answering. He was. Uh, what happened? Rahman, I believe, is an attribute rather than a name. It doesn't. No, it's a name. You see, because because you, you know a little bit of Arabic, right? Yeah. Okay. Does it say Al Asma? No, it does not say. It's in front of you on the screen. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I didn't so the second one. It does. All, what, what Asma? Asma, mean? Will, Asma, Asma. Asma mean names, correct? Yeah. So it is a name. Okay. So now you say that the first chapter was given to Muhammad was Al Fatiha, but Al Fatiha start with Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. That, that's true. Okay. Shouldn't Muhammad or his God tell us first who is a Rahman? Rahman just means merciful. I don't think it really no, no, needs any. It's, 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 it's a name. It's a name. Yeah, name explains itself. Yeah, you, you see, people they speak Arabic too, and in that time of Muhammad, people they speak perfect Arabic. So there is no need for them to question who is a Rahman unless it is something else. They need to know what it is, so they know what the word mean. They heard the word before, and they told Muhammad. Well, isn't it this is the guy Rahman al Yamama, the guy who claimed to be a prophet? He's called himself Rahman and his God Rahman. So he called himself Al Rahman, he called his God Rahman. And now this is the only Rahman we know. So is it your God? That's mean this is the first time people they heard the word Rahman. Otherwise, well, CP, it's like if you're nice to me, I can call you Rahman as well. No, no, you cannot. No, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Because the word Rahman, my friend, is not. Is is a uh, you see in Arabic when you add the letter A L two letters in the front of a name, that's mean this person is one of its kind. This is why you see you when you as a Muslim you read the name of the Messiah in Arabic, you see Al Messiah, correct? Yeah, true. Yeah, but Isa is a Isa, correct? Right. You yeah. Don't, you don't say Al Isa. You say. Yeah, Isa. we don't see Al Isa. Right, Isa Al Messiah. You don't say Al Muhammad. You say Muhammad. Yes. Okay. Why? Why uh, uh, Messiah is Al Messiah? Because there's only one Messiah in the whole world. Yes, there is one Messiah. Right. So now the right. El is a definition for what is unique and nothing like it. For being unique, yeah. Nothing like it. That's okay. So Al Rahman here cannot be for a person like me, because there's many people they are nice and kind and maybe nicer than me. When you call me a Rahman and you said it's mean the merciful, that's mean there's no merciful like me. I am the one. Yeah, maybe served. to me, maybe to me, there's no nobody no, merciful no, no, like no, you. No, this is not no. This is, I'm not talking about the language now. We are not talking about yeah. how you feel. It's not about feeling. It's about language. So the Arabic yeah, language about, is so clear. Here he's confirming that the name Ar Rahman is a name, and Allah He deserve it for all the good names belong to Him. So those are the good names belong to Allah. But the question is, if Muhammad already received the Quran in chapter of Al-Fatiha, why he is waiting for this time to explain who is a Rahman? He should say this verse in the beginning of the Quran, because now he said Allah, he said Ar-Rahman, he said Ar-Rahim. What about? Okay, you say to us the second verse. You said, okay, you know what? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We call him Allah. We call him Rahman. We call him Rahim. It doesn't matter for all those good names belong to him. That's one. Yeah, but as you see, he waited. If you are going by the order here, seventeen. But if you go by the order of Revelation, it's about fifty chapter. So fifty chapter and the Quran have no word of Rahman, but yet the, in the Quran today the Muslims have they have the word of Rahman in every chapter, which means the Quran is nothing but a corrupt book, because until this point, obviously Muhammad he never mentioned the word Rahman, ever. And that the reason he they are asking him about what a Rahman is because simply this is the first time he mentioned it. You get my point? Yeah, I can see your point. Yeah, because you know, if, if I am your teacher and I say to you before iPad and I explain it to you and you attend my class every day, and then you will not ask me after two years what iPad means. Because already you know, I told you, but because this is the first time. I remember Muhammad, he received the Quran through many years. How many years Muhammad was receiving Quran? Well, uh, I can really explain 20, that from the 20, Quran. 21, 22 years, right? So, so 
if this is a chapter number 50 that's mean let us say let us give it 50 percent that's mean muhammad already speaking about his god 10 years yeah that's true okay and now he remember to mention the word of rahman before that time the word is not important and then suddenly the word of rahman appear in the front of every chapter How the word Rahman appear in the first chapter, then the one you call as you consider as the real revelation was sent in the beginning. Well, ZB, I don't go that deep. I think those are just names and just call upon him with any good name. No, Muhammad he was stealing the names, all the names he have is a theft from somebody. Well, if you go by the tafsir, then um, of course. Well, no, the tafsir is giving us a uh, uh, history. The history written by Muslims. I mean, you know, to assume that the Muslims, you know, you know, you know this is what you are doing for. You are assuming that the Muslims are the enemy of Allah. Yes, they are the enemies. Okay, but you are a Muslim too. Well, I don't think they're Muslims. They're mushriks. More of a mushriks. They have hijacked okay. this word. Why Muslim. you don't say that yourself too? That because you deny, deny the Hadith, you became the enemy of Allah. Because the Quran says, "Atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul." You know what does that mean? Quran on Rasul in Kareem. The right. Quran is the word of Muhammad as well. Okay. So the Sur and Kareem, that's wonderful. So you have to obey what Muhammad said. And what Muhammad True, said. that's the Quran. Muhammad is speaking yeah, only Quran. Quran. Muhammad is, he speak only Quran, Muhammad. Well, he speak on his own, but those were not religious teachings. No, but it says Allah wa Rasul. Allah. Obey that Allah. means the okay. Hold on. That means obey Allah and obey the messenger. So when you, yeah, how you obey Allah, the, you obey Allah by obeying. Okay. Say, Allah wa al -Bukhari wa al -Rasul. No, it doesn't say something no, like that. No, no, I'm not talking about the Bukhari. Forget about Bukhari. Obey Allah and obey the messenger. Okay, isn't it the Quran is how you obey Allah? Yes. Okay, then how you obey the Rasul, the messenger? That's also the Quran. Inna hula kaulu Rasul in Kareem. No. You see, the Quran, when Muhammad, he says, in the Holy Rasul in Karim, he, he got himself busted. He just confessed that this is not the word of Allah. This is his statement. Well, uh, and that explains why the Quran is full of mistakes. As an example, you know, as we told you, the women have a sperm coming from really the nice people, a transparent guy. You see, if I obey, if I obey God, didn't I automatically obey Everything I need to obey. Why I need to say obey Allah and the Messenger? Are they different in their teaching? No, they're not different. They're okay, same. Then there is no need to add. And what about add obey Allah and obey Muhammad and obey Abraham and obey etc. I mean, well, there's no point. The whole point is that all those messengers supposedly are coming in the name of Allah. So why I need to add but the name of Muhammad? Uh, is that because the, the Quran is, 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 from that, is that is that one of the verses which would make Muslims misguided? That's true. That's also one of Thank them. The so Allah is making verses to misguide Muslims. So he's the devil. Yeah. No. No. I wouldn't call him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just said yeah. Come on. You know you can't. Take no, it back. I you cannot take that. it back. Uh, you just okay. Hold on. You say yeah or not? Okay. You just say it. That Allah is the one who made he made this verse to misguide the people, and you agreed. I said yes, yeah. Okay, so Allah is the one who made this verse to 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 misguide the people, and He is the devil. You said yeah by mistake or not doesn't matter. So what? what so He is more dangerous than the devil because the devil now he, you know you see the devil. If he come to me, he says go and do fornication. I will say to him, oh Jesus said to me, don't do fornication. But now, yeah. by having a verse in the Quran, supposedly is coming from God. But this God himself is playing the devil. He is the one is making them worship Muhammad and obeying Muhammad, and whatever Muhammad is saying, I will go for it. So now, how which one I will go, I will follow Allah or Muhammad? You just admitted that this is one of the verses made by Allah to misguide the Muslims. So what is the fault of the Muslims now if they follow and obey Muhammad? They go outside the Quran. They cross the limits. It doesn't of Allah. matter. The Allah told them to do that because He said, you know, you 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 have to you have to obey the prophet. The so say again. Allah also says that this is the word of messenger, and those 
al kuffar who do tafarak in allah and the messenger those who you know differentiate between allah and the messenger allah says this and muhammad says this and even if you compare the quran and the hadith the sharia law versus the quranic law you know yourself there is a contradiction there's a big contradiction yeah, but, you know for me i don't want to go in like in in a, uh, in a cave and try to dig the dirt or what i'm saying that me and you agreed that this verse is very confusing and you agree that allah he made it this is one of the verses which will help the muslim to be confused allah he made it for that purpose yeah okay that's true so what is the fault let us say you are a muslim you are one of those who follow the wrong interpretation for this verse is that your fault or this is the fault of allah if i'm wrong it's all up to allah then because i think i've uh, followed the logic i've just been logical and that's all yeah but you are just following the quran you did not do anything wrong no i do not inject any interpretation in the quran i just take the quran literally and that's it hmm. so if i'm wrong it's up okay. to allah let us say a muslim a muslim he didn't want to read any one interpretation and then he come to a conclusion that the hadith the the, the verse here is saying obey allah and obey the messenger and then he understand it not because al-bukhari said or because he understand it that we have to read the hadith who is the one who See, is guiding? Just for a second just forget the religion and everything just tell me something honestly just ask your heart can a pedophile and a pervert be a messenger of god well you know i, I don't want to make it to be it's limited. a simple question yes, can it's, a pedophile it's, it's, and a pervert... it's possible it's possible if this god is a pimp in las vegas or something it's possible no why would god be god god is such a wonderful creator why would god do that can god choose a pervert well, and a pedophile the god of islam he is a pervert so why not he wouldn't choose someone like him because if isn't it the god of islam promise you as a muslim that you will go to heaven and you will have boys there what the purpose of having those boys no i, I don't believe in that interpretation that's a sunni no, interpretation no, no, it doesn't matter the quran, so let's not discuss that this is not okay. this is not this is not, not. No, no 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 listen listen the quran i'm, I'm not asking about interpretation here we go the Quran speak that you will have little boys. What the boys there in the heaven doing? And they are very pretty. Why he describing their 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 the word is Gulman? We discussed last time. The Gulman in Quran, the word Gulam is used for son, male son. No, but those are they are. It says that those are going to go around them, and they are very pretty. Right? The lineage would, would go around you. No, That's what no, was. Okay. No, 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 no. No, you see in the in the Quran it says that they will not etc they will not etc and they will not uh, have uh, uh, you know uh, they, they will not have a children too so those are not their babies those are exist already the same as the virgins so basically there's a context to this verse Allah says those of your descendants who believed and they did good deeds they will be the gulman can you show me the verse I think it's two or three, maybe five, six verses before this verse. I've looked at this chapter some time ago. Show me. Let us be sure. Uh, which chapter is this, by the way? Uh, this is in chapter 50, 52, verse number 24. 20, 20, uh, 24, yeah. 52, 24. Wait, just a second. Let me check. <clears throat> It's 50 to 21. 50 to 21. Okay, let's yeah. go there. Well, Ladina Amanu, what the battle? Okay, I'll help my being on the Rieta home. Okay, so those are, uh, you see, the Rieta home is their children's. Those people are dying. Yes. Okay, if I die and I am, let us say, 70. When I die, my child is not one day old. He is a man, and maybe he's dead too. Correct? Yes, so, that, so this verse, verse is no, the no. understanding. What this verse here is speaking of 
that those who die, actually it's a stupid promise because why you are going to make their children go with them to heaven if they are not believers so it's a stupid promise but this has nothing to do with the boys those are who followed them in faith as well okay if you if you read the chapter the one it says and those boys they are going to go around them all right uh, yeah what they will do those boys they're just going around this is sort of metaphorical it's about the lineage will be around them going around them their lineage that they will be happy with their kids yeah but you know why okay so why your lineage is a boy but and you are an adult boys from your lineage it's talking about because no. uh, in islam no. men are the rulers hold, men hold, are the hold in charge okay hold on hold on uh, let me show you something well, CP, I have to leave in a bit because uh, it's late and I've got some stuff to do. Okay, because if you go to chapter 56, just before you go, chapter, yeah, sure. chapter 56, verse number uh, uh, 17, all right, it says, I can read it from actually verse number 14 if you want, and then they are yeah. going to be sitting, well done, they are, they here are well going done. to be sitting, yeah, they are going to be sitting on beds etc and they will be reclining facing each other and then he says is the will in front of the man uh well done the main is that the man is saying it's again your lineage okay. well, you see means here, your boy but you see those people well, are, means no, your but, lineage. You see, but you see those people they are doing something what they are doing in verse number 18 they are going around doing they're what? doing tawaf. doing what tawaf. You do fool. Yeah, but what, what they do when they do uh, around you? What they do? Well, they're just they're just around you. No, verse read verse number eighteen. Oh, let me check. Read verse number eighteen. You will see what they are doing. That's the pictures and cup from a uh, flowing stream. Yeah, they're just around you with glasses. Yeah, uh, they are serving you. They are they are giving you things. So those yeah. are going around you. Yeah, those are, you see, those are, you are the ones sitting in the chairs reclining. Now, your children, if they are people who they are Muslims too, they deserve to be in the in the chairs or the throne uh, reclining too. Well, why do they want to be serving a Muslim? Why a Muslim want to be serving a Muslim? Well, because, uh, you know, you're their elder, so they have to serve you. That's not fair because simply in, in uh, I am in heaven now and I go to heaven to work as a servant? Well, it's out of respect. What respect? Oh, you, you don't give me a chance. And why? What? So what? So what? The benefit of those women? What those women they will do there? <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, 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 thank you for for calling me. Anyway, thank you very yes, much. Yes, thank, thank you for having a discussion. Yeah. It was nice speaking to you. Thank you. And I uh, will keep calling. I'll call you. Might no be some other time. Anytime, anytime. No problem. Thank you. Okay, take care. Thank you. All right. Uh, you know, this is the only way to escape the stupidity of Islam is saying Allah knows best. Allah do not know. I do not know. And, you know, obviously here and all the Muslims agree that, uh, uh, you know, Islam is a promise in Muslim men, women and children in heaven. And the women, according to Muslims, not according to me, is uh, for sexual needs. And the boys, according to Muslims, not according to me again, is to serve you and Muhammad and the Hayyusi mission extreme scary numbers and as you see here you are going to be reclining in your couch and you will be facing each other and around them there is little young youth who they are very beautiful and very sexy now I don't see any reason for for anyone to you know he can try to deny that except that this is disgusting let us say, you know, I die as a youth, and then my father, he went to heaven. Why, if I go to heaven, I will be serving my father? Because that, you know, if you think about it, then my father, he have to be serving somebody else too. He will not be sitting there in the couch too. You know what I mean? Here it says that they will, they will be lined in their couches. Okay. So if every son will be serving his father, then he would, nobody will be lying in the couches except Adam. Are you getting, getting my idea, guys? If every son will be serving his father, and he is the one the Quran is speaking about youth, that's mean all of us we will be youth in the heaven, 
and there's only one man there his name is Adam and that would be stupid because the Quran says speaking about big numbers all of you all of you not one person so if everybody is serving his father and he is a youth because this is about youth what if I am a father who have no youth who will serve me nobody <laughs> anyway but it's a good try Fuad is trying his best you know uh, Fuad and people like Fuad who they are smart they are trying to get away with the stupidity of Muhammad in the hadith so what we do we deny it all we say whoever come with this is a stupid is an idiot is a crazy but the Quran is full of this and you know uh, here it says there wait for them a mortal youth would uh, why it doesn't say a immortal sons no say sons and the story is over their sons will be waiting for them those are unknown youth unknown they are not your sons and what they will be doing they will be serving you and they will not bleed according to Muslim they will not bleed because they will drink but they will not get a drunk all right but if you uh, if you if you see all the description of this heaven for me it's it's uh, sound very stupid somebody is promising me a couch and i will be reclining on the couch on my pillow i mean this guy the promising me pillow i will go and buy 10 pillows now let me get some pillows for you my friend god you promised me pillow God, He promised me a couch. That the heaven, I will be sitting in the couch, and I will eat banana, and I, I will be, uh, I will have a bracelet in my hand. Don't you see? This is something stupid. And we will be busy doing, jo you know, joyful things with my, our women, which means having sex. Yeah. And the women, when we enter heaven, they will be lined up into in a river. It's called the river of heaven. And uh, those women, they will be lined up from the two sides. When we enter heaven, it's like going in the Nile River, you know. And women in the two sides, they are singing for us one song. Peace, 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 peace. Well, and there's the women, they are wearing no clothes and they are ready for sex. So I arrive to my room. I find women waiting for me. I wish I can play for you the videos where Muslims explain how the Muslim, how the women in the heaven they will attack you. Guys, it's a it's a porn movie. It's a porn. The sheikh would know would know like they are not even feeling they feel no. I mean I don't know what to say. He would say to you, imagine uh, when you enter the bedroom, they will jump on you. One she will be sucking your tongue. The other one, she will be sucking your lips. The other one, she will be sucking your nipples. The other one is, you know, he's going in details. And you, you can you can tell, like, if, I can imagine how this mosque smell if you were there, because I'm sure some, they will start doing masturbation. All of this is about sex. And all of those promises is about unjust. Because a youth, he will be serving a Muslim who is sitting in the couch for eternity. And the promises does not make sense anyway. You know, what couches? You know, what about a big screen TV? I like to have big screen TV. What I will do in heaven? This is very boring. What about, you know what? I will give you the couch. I will be, give you the pillow. I will give you the bracelet. I will give you the youth. Give me internet. But Muhammad is making a promise for poor Bedouin men who never have any of those things. As simple as that. 
those people they they, they are poor Bedouin. They never have a couch. They they sleep in the ground. They never have a what a pillow. You must be like rich. The pillow for them is just to put their hand and their and their and their head and they sleep. In the heaven, there's a fountain. It's called Sisabil. Are you happy? There's a fountain waiting for you. What this fountain does? Anyone knows what this fountain? Who knows what this fountain do? What this fountain do? This fountain is the fountain of youth. Those those children, those youth, they are youth because they drunk from the fountain of youth. And they will stay youth because they drink always from the fountain of youth. <laughs> Science. By the way, guys, I, I, I wish I can show you how I look today. I mean, I look totally different because yesterday I stopped. I, I, I don't remember because I drank from many places. I cannot find where is the fountain I was drinking from. But I will try to find out. Today I look so young. I drank from one of the fountain of youth. It was, I think, Pepsi Cola, something like that. I don't think it's 7-Up because according to science of Taliban, uh, seven up is haram because the Muslim in Pakistan and Afghanistan notice that if you walk seven steps, you jump, and they say this is mostly because the conspiracy of the American making us drinking seven up. So when they are fighting each other, the Taliban and the Marines, uh, the Muslim Marines, the, the the Muslim Taliban, they walk seven steps and jump, and that because of the seven up. So the, the American, they can shoot them easy, like boing, and the American is waiting for him, he shoot him. So seven up is haram now. But in the Quran, we have a fountain, it's called Salasabil. Any Muslim can tell me what this fountain is doing there? And why it's called Salasabil? What does that mean? Is that the street? Is that a, is that a Salasabil Avenue? What, what are those details are for? A fountain is called Salsabil. What I will do with this Salsabil thing? Any Muslim? I mean, I'm so excited, man. I will have a fountain it's called Salsabil. Are you kidding me? The God of the Christian don't have Salsabil. Hey, Christian, do your God have Salsabil? You don't. You don't. I mean, come on, we have to face it. It hurt. Your God, he don't offer you Salsabil. How I mean, what life is without a fountain of salsabil, and what life without a, a cup of wine mixed with zanjabil? Anyone knows what zanjabil? Who of you knows zanjabil? What is zanjabil? Salsabil, yeah. Anyone knows what zanjabil? Who knows? What is the drink Zanjabil? Ginger. I mean, guys, imagine the God of Islam promising me wine mixed with ginger. Try it. It's disgusting. But do you know why he promised them ginger? Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why he added the word Zanjabil? No, the Arab, the Arab, they have a famous cheap drink. It's called ginger because they can dig in their desert and they find it there, right there. So Muhammad is making a poetry. Look with me. It's not, The purpose really is not about the taste. Otherwise, the taste is ugly. So here, your read here is end with what? Zanja Beel. Muhammad, he wanted to continue the term or the tone, the rap. Salsa Beel, you know what I mean? If we go to the Arabic, let us go to the Arabic. So the purpose of it, it's not, it's not really, uh, it's not a drink. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Zelzabila. Zelzabila. La la la. This is why the promise became stupid. How in the world you are going to mix wine with Zenjabil? Who of you right now is going to go and mix some ginger with wine? Ginger with uh, you know ginger with wine, but he was just making a point. So the point is not really the meaning. It's just a stupid thing he is saying, you know. Like here, he end the word, the sentence with menthura, thra. So now he have to end it kabira. He's just making a rap music. Sometimes it work with him. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sharaban tahura. Sharaban Tahura, a drink which is pure, pure what? And here, the, one of the funny things, and you are going to wear a bracelet made from silver. Like, have you ever heard of su such a stupid promise? A bracelet made from silver? Are you happy, Abdul? You will wear a bracelet made from silver. What do you want more? I mean, come on. What is the wish of any human being more than this? Their uh, garment will be a fine green silk and gold, etc. Bracelet of silver they will wear. Like, I mean, come on. I'm sure many of the Muslims are going crazy. And then Allah will serve you a drink. And that, what is that a drink? The drink is uh, ginger and, uh, and, uh, and wine. <clears throat> What do you want more than this? I mean, this is amazing, so beautiful. The Arab, they used to add, they, they, they used to make tea. You see, tea, tea is not a product. You see, there's many things the people they have misunderstanding, or I don't know how it came to exist. Like they say to you, uh, 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 Turkish coffee. Right or Arabica coffee? What Arabica coffee? There's nothing called Arabica coffee. Middle East, our country is is not a country who produce coffee. We never produce coffee. We cannot produce coffee, and we buy coffee. So how it became Arabica coffee? I have no idea. The coffee is coming from uh, Sri Lanka. They call it Arabica coffee. They come in from Brazil. They call it Arabica coffee. But what is Arabica about it? I have no idea. We as an Arab, we did not receive the cup, the coffee until the occupation, until the Second World War II. Before that, nobody drink coffee. What coffee? Can you show me where Muhammad was drinking coffee? Nowhere. What they drink? They drink Zajabil, ginger. Do we have any Muslim here? Want to say something? Anyone? Anyone? Any how? Any two? Any four? You know, if Allah can change his promises from uh, Zanjabil to Pepsi Cola, I think he will get more people to join Islam. Right, I think so. I mean, something not right. Muhammad, he need to consider or reconsider what he is promising. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Anyone? This is must be a true God. Look at this here in verse number 15. Allah will serve you, the boys will serve you with, uh, uh, with cups made from uh, 
silver and the 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 cups cannot qawarira i mean if you if you read the word qawarira let me see it's like a container i mean that's what a stupid religion let us see shakir give a chance to shakir hmm. Transparent glass, guys. Allah, He will give you transparent glass. It doesn't say that there, you know. What is transparent glass? How it's made it from silver, but it's transparent. Any Muslim can explain to us? I mean, are you stupid, Muslims, when you translate? How you make it trans transparent, but it's made it from silver? Since when silver is transparent? This is see through uh, silver. Is that a see-through silver? Gold but transparent, what does that mean? It's very thin? <laughs> it can break so easy? Anyway, you know, I think it's time for me to make some ginger because I want to lose weight. Ginger is good to lose weight. I, I guess the Muslims, Allah is trying to make, keep them in diet. Do we have any Muslim here? This man, Muhammad, the Arab, they like ginger. They drink ginger in every, from the morning until night. They like wine. So he promised them what they like. Ginger and wine, what do you want more? And you know what? Not only that, I will mix it together. <laughs> Are you happy? What else do you want? What more I can give you? I cannot give you more than this. You can, there is no choice. This is what Allah He have for a drink. Wine and milk and honey and ginger. You like it, like it. You don't like it, excuse me, get lost. Hello? <laughs> you know... <coughs> Do you know that in the heaven, in the open buffet of Allah, there's only meat of birds? Imagine you go and you are going to heaven supposedly and now he's promising you whatever you wish and then you find that in the table there's only bird meat, chicken. That's it. Read with me. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh. Chapter 56, verse number 21. Let us see what chapter 56 is saying. Hold on. Things is getting more exciting. Uh, I mean, look at this man. They will be in their thrones, which means it doesn't say throne, right? It's, it says couches or beds. Uh, and with what gold the price is stones? Those stones, guys, will be, it's like, a, you know, it's like a throne, yeah. Reclining on them, facing each other, round about them will serve youth, and they are very beautiful. With globets shining the bricks and cups filled out of a clear uh, from the from the fountain of youth, then uh, they drink as much as they want, but they will not get drunk. And then you will eat from the fruits. You can select any fruit you want from the trees. Now, here a flesh of birds that they may desire. Only birds. Where there's no beef. No fish? What about, I want shrimp. So all my life, because I'm poor, I cannot buy shrimp when I am down on earth. I cannot eat lobster because I, it's expensive for me. Now I'm going to heaven, I will eat chicken again? 
and that is supposedly heaven. Where is the lobster? Where is the uh, shrimp? I don't want chicken, you know. Yeah, the sweat of Muhammad, this is a different story. This is from the hadith. That Allah, he created the 124,000 prophets from the sweat of the prophet. But obviously the prophet used to sweat a lot. I think he was living in, uh, maybe in the Philippine or something. I mean, it was a humid there. Because Allah, he created from every drop of his sweat, one prophet. Anyone knows how how, uh, how the prophet, he... Uh, where he was how he he sweat anyone knows the story about the prophet sweat and from every sweat Allah created the prophet who knows anyone have an idea <clears throat> let us let us make the image more clear for you hold on you see I am the same as teacher would like to use a special effect presentation all right let us see okay <clears throat> according to the Muslims Allah he sent Muhammad in a boat anyone knows for how long anyone knows how long Muhammad he went in a boat for how long this is serious now guys this is not a bracelet or a, come on this is not about ginger now this is about going in the ocean for a long time how long Muhammad he went in the ocean <clears throat> nobody knows I'm really disappointed <sighs> I was thinking to increase your rank and increase your salary because the Muslims accuse me that I am paying people to come and listen to me. I'm paying Muslims to leave Islam too. <clears throat> Allah, he sent the prophet in a trip. And the trip he did, he spent about 2,000 years in every ocean. There's an ocean of uh, wisdom, ocean of uh, tears ocean it's like you know you're watching the the you know what is uh, captain uh, what his name in the Caribbean the part of the Caribbean captain Jack Sparrow <laughs> so <clears throat> in every ocean the prophet he spent about 2,000 years right Uh, and during his trip in the ocean which is very harsh Allah was giving the prophet he, he was like to say he was training him you know because imagine you are alone for thousands and thousands of years and the water never end from ocean to ocean from ocean to ocean and during these trips muhammad he sweat 124000 drop of his sweat and from every sweat allah created the prophet and for sure some of you is laughing but this is a true story my friend Everything is created from the sweat of Muhammad. 
I will give you an example. Name for me one a prophet. You can prove to me by science that he is not created from the sweat of the prophet. Any have anyone? So I'm, I'm playing now the Muslim. I'm playing that as a Muslim, you know, like because a Muslim that's not calling. Who is a Muslim when I tell us? By the way, the prophet, when he used to sweat, he sweat like perfume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, true story. Actually, the hadith says that even the prophet, when he do, excuse my language, he do shit, his shit smell like perfume. And I changed it in Muslim to say it's not true. I can give you the, the, the proof and the reference. Any Muslim? Not only that, when the prophet he shit, not only his shit smells so good. In fact, the ground, the earth, open wide and swallow it like mm, yummy. Like the ground is waiting for it, man. I cannot wait. Oof, Oof. unbelievable. Hmm. Any Muslim? <clears throat> anyway, look like we are out of Abdul. So we have to give up for today. No Muslims? Don't use guys, don't use a bad language in our, in our chat, please. No bad language here. You can say whatever you want, but don't use bad language. Same time, you have to respect the Prophet of Allah. I think you, you people are jealous because you don't have the same smell as the Prophet. Yeah, I understand. You know, me as an Arab, we smell so good. You know, I will give you an example. Once I went in an airplane. And I have like a, a bunch of guys next to me in the airplane and they are really big, huge. And they are taking half of my chair. So all what I did, I took off my shoe and the left is uh, leave it for Allah. The people, they were like the, the, the seat before me, the seat after me, the guys next to me, they went, they start asking the, uh, uh, the airplane host to change their chairs. I mean, it's a miracle because we smell so good. My, my socks will do the rest, you know. We, we are Arab, we smell so good. I mean, that, that, they can't even discuss that. Imagine this is the Prophet Muhammad, and now he is in his journey for 1,000, 2,000 years in every ocean. And he is sweating now. True story. Oh, we lost connection. I don't know what happened here. Hold on. All right. I hope I hope the connection is coming back to you. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? This is why, by the way, Muhammad, Muhammad, he, he, he used to have a red hair. You see, if you look at the at this picture, I think this is a picture of the Prophet Muhammad. And he was he used to wear a bracelet too. He used to color his hair blonde. He want to be redhead. What, what's wrong with Barbara? 
he talks and never support what he says what do you want to say uh, barbara like what what do you want to call me barbara you're a muslim barbara what do you think you want to call me any Muslim he is saying I say and I didn't support what I say well call me and let us see if I am saying what I support or just I'm making things but you know we have to be honest that the Prophet the Prophet uh, Allah he created from his the, the sweat of his chest not from the sweat of his ass and that is really appreciated i will be upset if i am a prophet and i i am created from the sweat of the balls of muhammad that is not really a good news for me but thanks to allah he created the prophets from the sweat of the chest of the prophet i mean this we have we have to be honest here we have to be honest So any Muslim wanna say this is not true? Who is a Muslim wanna say that you are lying? Who wanna challenge me? Instead of wasting your time saying this is not true, what about you call me and get me busted? What do you think, guys? Hmm? Who want to call me and get me busted live as we speak? Don't wait for tomorrow. Now, I just said something. Well, call me and say, hey, Christian Prince, you are lying. This is not a true. Why you don't do that? Anyone? So don't accuse me that I am saying things and then I prove it. You have to challenge me. See, I'm trying to encourage you to challenge me. So everybody will have fun. You call me, you challenge me, I don't prove it. People will laugh at me. That's wonderful. So should we do it? <clears throat> Okay. Let us show the reference for what we are talking about. As long as the Muslims, we, we, I give up what I can do. This is the name, this is the book I'm reading from. Let us go first to the book. This is your Muslim book, and I'm reading just from there. As simple as that. All right. All right. It says here, read carefully with me. They are quoting for you what people they say about Muhammad. And this is they claim that this is the Shia, they say that. All right. Shia say that. So they are making fun of the Shia. But do you like it or not? The Shia are Muslims. I don't care, the Shia or Sunni, you both, they say, they say crazy stuff. So it says that the first, the first, uh, the first Allah of a creation is, was the tree of Yaqeen, the, the, the tree of, let us say, absolute knowledge. Then he created from the light of the Prophet, uh, something like a, like a, like a jewel 
in the shape of a Tawus. Tawus, what is Tawus? What is Tawus in our in English? You know, guys, there is a there is a bird which have a lot of colors in his tail. I don't know what you call it. It's, it's it looked like a turkey, but it's not a turkey. It's big, have like many colors, very beautiful. So he created that, and then, and then he put this bird in the top of a tree, and then this bird he prays Allah. To the to the to the time or the distance of one thousand year. And then Allah created a mirror of life. And he would it in the front in front in the front of of this bird. And then when this bird he looked at it, he found that he is the most beautiful creation. And he is the most decorated ever. And then he did bow down to Allah five times. And then Allah, he ordered Muhammad to pray five times. I mean, what does the bird have to do with Muhammad here? I have no idea. Unless Muhammad himself is the bird. And he gave Muhammad the order to pray five times. And then, uh, when, when, uh, uh, when the prophet, he looked, he did sweat because he was so shy from Allah and then Allah he created from the sweat of the Prophet the angel the sorry the sweat of the the Prophet head from the sweat of his head the angels and from the sweat of his face the throne of Allah the chair of Allah the tablet of Allah all of this from the face of Muhammad let us continue I'm just showing you one of the books, not not all of them, just one as an example. And Allah, He created all of the, all of all of those furniture is coming from the face of Muhammad, the pen, and here He jumped to the sun, the moon, uh, the the curtains, uh, the planet, and everything is in the sky. All of this is created from the sweat of the Prophet, peace upon him, Allah Akbar. And here it says, and he created from the sweat of his chest the prophets, the messengers, the scientists, the murder, the righteousness. And he created from the sweat of his back the Kaaba. And I was wondering why the Kaaba smells so bad. And I was asking myself, what's wrong, man? Let us continue. And he, he created from his from his uh, back sweat, his, which means the back of his body, the Kaaba, the house of Allah, which is in heaven, the, 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 the mosque of Al-Aqsa, Baytul Qaqis, and all the mosque in the world is created from the back sweat of the Prophet. Now, and he created from the sweat of his eyebrows, Oof. Oof. the believers of male and females, Oof, if, if, if. the Muslim male and the Muslim females, Oof, if, if. all of this is coming from his eyebrows, and from the sweat of his ears, the Jews, oh man. Now I know. I used to have a Jewish neighbor always when he talked to me, he say, Hey Christian, and he hold his ear. Huh? Hey Christian Prince, how are you? Christian Prince Habibi, Habibi, how are you? Huh? And he hold his ear. I was wondering why he's doing that. Should I stop here? Where is uh where is the one, the Muslim who don't agree with this? Should we stop here? Or we continue with the sweat? Hello. Any Muslim have an objection? Agree? Don't agree? Anything? Let me know. And then it continue. <clears throat> he continues saying the following. We don't want to stop here.
we don't want to stop here because the Muslim they might say, oh, he is cutting it off, man. Man. Let us continue a little bit. Hold on. I made a snapshot. That's easier. All right. So to make it simple, from the sweat of his ears, the Jews and the Christians and the Majus, which the ones who uh, worship the fire, all of them created from the ears of the Prophet. And then Allah, he created from, this, from the sweat of his feet, the earth. And whatever it is, and the top of it, from the east to the west. Any Muslim have a comment? Zakir have a comment? We can call Zakir Naik. Brother Sitter, there's a question here. Somebody is asking me a question. How Allah created everything from the tweet of the Prophet? First of all, the Prophet, he sweat differently. As an example, you sweat when you are doing workout. The Prophet, he don't do that. The Prophet, he sweat because he's praying. Because this is the workout of the Prophet. So when the Prophet, he sweat, his ears sweat. Have you ever heard of somebody, his ears sweat? The Prophet, his ears sweat. And from the ears of the Prophet, Allah created the Christian and the Jews. And this is a very true story. I wonder why they miss the sweat of the balls of the Prophet. I mean, Allah created nothing from there. Look what they what they mentioned. They mentioned the sweat of his face, the sweat of his back. I mean, what about the sweat of his belly? They mentioned the sweat of his chest, the sweat of his ears. I never heard of somebody's uh, ears. People sweat. You sweat from your ears? And how big the ears of the prophet to sweat from the ears? Is it an elephant or what? <laughs> Unbelievable. So where is any, do we have any Abdul? He have something to say? <coughs> Somebody is asking me to call Zach and Ike. We just did, man. What's wrong? We just called him. Didn't you hear me calling him and he was answering? Zakir Naik is always around, and he and he knows best. Any Muslim have a complaint? Because we can show you different stories. This is just one of many stories your Muslims have in your books, and all of them they are true. There is no question about that. It must be true. I see some missing call from who? Okay. Uh, do we have any Abdul in the bushes? For sure, Islam is, um, it makes sense and very logical. And who is better? To be created from except the sweat of the prophet the name is the persian king cyrus what do you think you see who is the muslims who think that i mean who care what they say but people are saying stupid things if you go to the interpretation it says uh, that this is the guy who built the city of alexandria who is the build the build the city of Alexandria and his name is Alexander? Let us see. He built the city of Alexandria and his name is Alexander. What who is he? Who is he? Please, the team number A, the question, the time is going to be up soon. Give me the question. I remember once I was watching Saudi TV and they asked him in the month of Ramadan. If you answer the question, they give you a mid like a, an ounce of gold. Honest to God, for every question, an ounce of gold. 
So team number A and team number B. The question was, an insect mentioned in the Quran and make honey. What is the insect? Now the, the team number A is the, 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 the they are talking. Beep, time is up. You believe it? Time is up. An insect in the Quran and it make honey. What is the insect? Team A could not get the answer. So the answer moved to team B. And team B are discussing like for a few seconds, and then they give them the answer. It was the bees. <laughs> I mean, it's very hard. An insect make honey and mention in the Quran. I mean, that's that's very really hard. You have to be a scholar to know it. I mean, that's that's really tough. And I was saying to myself, I mean, why, why, God, you do that to me? What about you send me there to make some money? Like I will stay there for an hour. I will come back with two kilograms of gold with those stupid questions. Do we have any Abdul? Hmm? Unbelievable, unbelievable, man, super intelligence. Yeah, but anyway, it's better than Allah and the Quran saying that the, 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 the bees, they eat the fruits and they shed the honey. Have you ever heard of God saying such a thing? The God of the Quran, look how smart this God, man. I mean, this guy, this guy, I could not find smarter than Allah, to be honest with you. I don't know how he can, I, this is amazing. This is a pure science. Oh, Allah, he knew that. Hmm? Look what Allah, he say in the Quran. By the way, Muslims, we can read any translation you want. It's so beautiful. By the way, guys, there's two things make me cry when I get close to them. Onion and the Quran. Onion, it make me cry because it's an onion. The Quran, it make me cry from laughing. Now look at this. Allah speaking to the bees. He said that Allah inspired the bee. Brother Thetar, I will give you an example about the amazing miracle of the Prophet of Allah. If you go in the Quran and you open the chapter of Yes, in the Quran, it's like a zoo. <laughs> in the chapter of Zzzz, brother, you will find it said the following that Allah inspired the bees. You might ask me now how Allah inspired the bees. It's very simple. Allah, He sent to them the angel Jibreel. And he delivered for them the inspiration exactly as the same Allah he did to Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> and now Allah, after he inspired the bees, what he said to them, then eat of all the fruits and follow the ways of the Lord. Made a smoothie. <laughs> Made a smoothie. Made a smooth for thee. There, there comes forth from their bellies. <laughs> The God of the Islam, he thinks that bees, they eat a fruit and they shit honey. <laughs> Unbelievable. You see, you, now do you understand why I cry when I cut onion and when I read the Quran? <laughs> Brother Sitter, if you examine one of the bees, let us say we take an African bee. Don't take a bead from Pakistan because they are aggressive. And don't even try to use any bead is coming from the Hindu territory because it's Hindu. I'm talking specifically about Muslim bees. Muslim bees, they are the one who eat the fruit and they sit, honey, thank you very much. Um, this is science, my friend. And the funny, the Muslim, they have tons of videos about the miracle of the bees. Go search in, the, in, in, in YouTube. You will not believe it how many miracles they are talking about. This is a miracle. This is garbage. 
your God, he think that the that 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 what it's coming coming from their belly, they eat the fruit. Guys, remember carefully. According to Allah, they eat the fruit and the honey come from their belly. The, 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 the bees don't eat the fruits. They don't. They eat the honey, Abdul. The honey is their food. Your stupid God, he think that they eat fruits and they shit honey. This is not their shit. This is their food. To make it simple for you, Abdul, we are stealing their food. We are not stealing their shit. <laughs> uh, all of us, we knew. You, you do not need to be a genius. You can go to a first grade school, you know, whatever school you've been in. They will teach you that the, the, the bees who go out, they call them the worker bees. They don't eat anything. They don't eat the nectar. They suck the nectar and they keep it in their in their tongue, and then they go to the hive to the, the hive and then de deliver it to other worker, which her job is to transform the nectar into honey. Until now, nobody is eating anything. This is not their food. Mm. I wish I wish the bees they understand you know English or Arabic because I will send them letter to say can you please can provide us some of your shit <laughs> because Allah told me that this is your shit anyway I mean why you why you want to keep it for us I mean what you would do with it <laughs> we are here to help you we are willing to take all your shit for free and the bees will say to me uh, so what are you going to do with our thet? The bees is like an egg here. Huh? Are you going to use our thet as fertilizer? <laughs> fertilizer. Oh boy. Do we have any Muslim here want to say something? Any Muslim is complaining. He don't like it. Huh? Well, I wish that can I ever would dare to, you know, once we offer him to debate me and, they, you know, the one who was speaking with me, I don't know if it's him or, you know, but his official account in Facebook, he said, uh, you need to bring 2000 viewer with you fly over here. Imagine, guys, I'm going to pay for a ticket for 2000 of you. I mean, for sure, I'm I'm very rich. I mean, you know, we Christian, we make mo we make money from the shit of the bees anyway. <laughs> this is how easy to make money for us. I mean, the the Muslim they buy the shit of the bees from us. That's unbelievable. So so powerful. This religion is so powerful. We have to we have to admit. Yeah. Uh, what I can say, what you can say, nobody, no, nobody can have a comment about this religion. It's amazing. Sometimes you ask yourself how Allah He was able to obtain all this knowledge. It's so wonderful. Uh, anyway, guys, my uh, for those who speak German, how many of you here speak German? How many of you here speak German? Anyone speak German? Anyone? My my translate the translation of my German book Quran and Science in depth is going to be uh, in Amazon maybe by today or maybe tomorrow. All right. Uh, we are waiting waiting for it to be published very very soon. So if any of you uh, know German, just uh, wait for, you know, I will, I will post the link about Amazon. Please help us to, uh, to spread the knowledge about the book. And, you know, the funny, the Muslims, they make a lot of videos about my first book in German, in German language. And they accuse me of many lies, but not even one of them will dare to come and says, okay, here we go. I'm here to get you busted. 
yeah always you can find my books check maybe uh, uh, if not tomorrow day after uh, uh, always you can search for Christian Prince you know Christian Prince and you will find the list of my books uh, but because it's a new published book it might not appear right away in the German Amazon.de I think Germany uh, so if you like to push it from that account because I think it's separated account dot com and that de is different account for amazon so you have to wait maybe for two days from now before you can have it and then you can you know tell your friends about it uh, you know anyway the muslims they they ask their friends to go and give my books false review give them one star and they thought by doing that there's nobody is going to read my book but the fact it's the opposite uh when you review a book in Amazon, it shows that if you bought the book or not. You know what I mean? It's it says in the top of your name, verified purchase, verified purchase. So when you make a review and you did not even buy the book, people will laugh at you and they will know that you are a Muslim immediately, because you did not even buy the book. How you know what is inside the book? <laughs> I remember, guys. I I told the people I going to uh, publish the book like now you know like in twenty four hours all right, but what happened uh, you know the publishing they keep telling me you have to delete here the like uh, you know like when you make the format of the file you have to keep a space from the end of the page so we keep exchanging the files to fix it. The Muslims they thought I uh, is going to happen in twenty four hours. If you believe it or not, I have a review of my book before I publish it. I did not even publish the book yet. The Muslim made a review of my book in the internet, and they are speaking. What's wrong with the with the book of a Christian prince? Lies uh, lies in the book of a Christian prince. I did not publish the book yet. Shouldn't shouldn't you wait until I publish it first, and then you speak about my lies? <laughs> but I guess the bees told them the bees, brother, the bees. <laughs> The beat come to me, and the beat inspire me, and the beat told me about what you are going to do. <laughs> Allah Akbar. <laughs> Bees knows best. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Actually, my coming book, which is not not the German one, the German one is just a translation. But I have two books will be published very soon too. We are waiting for them to be done. I finished my part as a publisher. We are just doing the editing. So those two books, it's six and Allah. Uh, those are, I believe, they are made from the bows of the prophet, <laughs> from the sweat of his bows. <laughs> oh boy! Anyway, guys, we better we better leave for now. Otherwise, things is getting dirty. Uh, we better stop here. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all, and I will try my best to do broadcast tomorrow if I can. If I cannot, I mean, it's all right. We already, you know, we have uh, we have a lot of work in the internet. There's thousands and thousands of videos made by me. Once I search for my name in YouTube, I get scared. I mean, really, tons, thousands of videos. I said, I did make all these videos? Unbelievable. But I think it was Allah inspiring me, and he is the one who made me do those videos. Uh, thank you, Allah. I really appreciate your inspiration. I hope you will inspire me more and we will do more for your sake. So may the Lord bless you all, guys. And I hope soon, uh, maybe tomorrow, I will be able to do a live podcast around 4.30. But sometime, don't forget to subscribe because sometime I do it in different timing. Like yesterday, I made a video, I think, I don't know, 12 a.m. in the morning. The day before, it was 2 a.m. in the morning, my time. So... You know, depend if I have time, somebody asks me a question, I just go live. Who cares? I mean, timing is not really important. The important is we deliver the answer and we help those who have a question to be answered. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you all. And until I see you again, I hope tomorrow I say Christ is Lord and Islam is false, made by a false man. His name is Muhammad. Thank you. And God bless.